Welcome back. Guess what? We're gonna play Sims. I know. No one's surprised by that. <laughs> Hi. You, Donnie, oh no, no, it was Kath that did that. Sorry, I, I just saw Kath say that they did the same person twice in a row and I thought it was Donya. I'm sorry, Donya, for trying to blame you for that one. In my defense, one person sits here and spams that command in chat. So, <laughs> you know, uh, Sarah, not really. Yesterday, I was not thriving. I think I'm getting sick, or maybe it's just my period. It's hard to say with me, because I get like flu-like symptoms from my period, but I'm actually not thriving. <laughs> so I streamed, I was gonna stream twice yesterday, and then I was like, you know what? I can't go live again. I don't want, I can't. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here now. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Horse apartments? Yes, I'll show you. Let me get my game open. Oops, you can't see it. Let me fix. Come on, go. Ah, I timed that well. Okay. <laughs> Let me load into the horse apartment save. I think it's this one. Hard to say. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay. You're watching my videos right now, Molly? Oh, nice. You got like double Lil Simsy with the video and the stream at the same time. I don't, it might be in this save, it might not. Oh, it is, okay, so yesterday, I started building like a neighborhood in Chestnut Ridge, but we're gonna make it one of the new lot types, the residential rentals, and so there's like three houses on one lot. It's a neighborhood, like horse. <laughs> so, so we started building the shells of them yesterday. We haven't furnished anything yet. Um, but this is kind of the idea. So, so they'll be like, you know, these three houses, they have a shared barn and we'll like really landscape it and fill it all out in between. Um, so that's what we're, what we're planning on. It's not really an apartment. It's a neighborhood, but, uh, in game, we're going to class it like an apartment. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're going to play not so very tomorrow, Jojo. Cause I had to switch the schedule around cause I was like really unwell yesterday. <laughs> I was planning on playing yesterday and then I wasn't doing so good. So um, I think we'll play Not So Buried tomorrow. Um, it's kind of my plan. So anyway, this is what we're working on. I think it looks kind of cool, right? I haven't done any of the terrain paint yet because I, I want to have like some really pretty, I don't know, like kind of windy paths, I guess, like in between them all. I'm not really sure. Obviously it won't be this one, but I want to have some like cool windy paths to get everywhere. I just, I want to do the terrain paint later because you know, you can't trust this game. Like you actually have to do terrain paint last because it will delete. And if that happens to me, I'll cry. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> we haven't finished the Oasis Springs ones yet. No, we are sort of in the middle of a couple builds right now. I started making this yesterday, so we're going to finish it today. Um, yeah, terrain paint has to be done last, which makes me feel really sad because, um, I want to do the exterior. <laughs> I like furnishing the exteriors and decorating the exteriors, but anyway, do we have advent today? Well, yeah, we'll open the advent calendar in a minute. I'll give people a chance to come in first. Um, you could do 10 not so very colored apartments. Do you know what? I literally have that on my list as like a thing that I want to do on stream is do like some not so very apartments. Um, that's an idea that we've got written down. There's a lot of apartments I want to do. <laughs> No, the insides are not done. We we figured out the floor plans. We haven't furnished them yet. Yesterday, we literally just built the shells of them and then put the windows in and stuff. Um, but we, we didn't uh, decorate them yet. So we have to fill the whole inside. We have a lot of work to do. <laughs> we have three houses and a barn to furnish. <laughs> so much to do, much to see. I'm also playing this Dirty Valley soundtrack because I feel like it fits my farm uh, horse ranch vibes, you know? Oh, and my new profile picture. Yeah, I changed my Twitch profile picture. It all started because a couple days ago on YouTube, um, it deleted my profile picture. It just wasn't there anymore. I guess they've been having some glitches on YouTube like that where like the profile pictures just delete sometimes um, This the past couple weeks. And so I was like, you know what? If you delete yourself, fine, I'll change it. And so I changed it and then I changed it everywhere. Mm, kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> um, but it happened to a lot of people on YouTube. It wasn't just me. Um, I woke up that morning to like all these people in my discord and on Twitter being like, why did you delete your profile picture? It's stupid now. Why does it just have an L? <laughs> and I was like, I did it. <laughs> it wasn't me. It ha they did it. It was YouTube. They did it, not me. Because <laughs> when you remove your profile picture, it just becomes like a blank circle with the first letter of your username. 
Anyway, shall we begin? Oops, this is backwards. Shall we begin? So if you're just tuning in, um, I have two advent calendars that we've been opening every day so far in December. Um, today is the 15th. This one's Legos. So we're gonna open it. Ready? Oh, ouch. Okay, here we go. <gasps> what is that? Wait. Is it a cat tree? Is it a cat tree? I think it's a cat tree! Oh my god! <laughs> We have to build it right now. I thought it was gonna be a dog thing. Yesterday, the person had a paw print treat in their hand. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to build it. So the first step is this little circle. And then you put this little part on top of the little circle. I know it's not in focus, but you just take my word for it, okay? And then you put this little green part on top of the little circle, on top of the little circle, like that. Okay, and then, oh, this is weird. Next, I have to build like a cone with these pieces together. Like that, and that goes in the corner. This is a weird cat tree. And then the cat goes on there. Oh my God, there's a little tiny cat Lego. I've never, ah! oh jeez. Sorry, that scared me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Be careful as you're placing the cat. I'm acting like it's a, tu it's a tutorial, as if anyone's gonna have this. Look! Cutest thing I've literally ever seen. Well, it's kind of weird, but I like the cat. I'll show you the one from yesterday. This girl, she has like a little treat and a phone in her hand. And now she has a cat. The little brown circle looks like a yeehaw hat. Oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> that was fun. I like that one. The The Lego advent calendar, she had a, a flop era, but we're, we're doing well the past couple days. I've liked it. We had gamer stuff and now cat stuff. And like, that's a huge improvement from before. Um, okay, mini brands. Yesterday, the mini brand was Was it Pringles yesterday? I'm looking at my little container and I'm like, I think it was the Pringles yesterday, right? <laughs> I don't remember the order of them anymore. <laughs> we got sour cream and onion Pringles yesterday. And now we have this. Day 15. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Come here. Sometimes I can't really get them that well. All right. Velveeta Blueberry Breakfast Bars. <laughs> I really, I kind of like the ones that are boxes. I don't know why. <laughs> there you go. I don't think I would like these. I don't like cooked fruit. That says, look at this. It says natural flavor with other natural flavor. Natural flavor with other natural flavor. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that what the actual box says? It is, usually, I'm gonna check. Natural flavor with other natural flavor. Yeah, the real life, I mean, these are just carp copies of the real life boxes, but. So it's, it means it has blueberry natural flavor with other natural flavor, but what's the other natural flavor? And singular? Belvita breakfast biscuits are a nutritious, convenient breakfast choice that are baked with select, selected wholesome grains and deliver nutritious, steady energy all morning long. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Grain? I mean, I guess that probably is the, I don't know what their other natural flavor is. I like these boxes. I think it's fun that I can read them. 
Okay. Simsy, where are the merch socks? What, like the Sims merch socks that they gave me? Downstairs. <laughs> uh, they're in my closet. <laughs> are they hard plastic or cardboard? This one is cardboard. Um, I, you could open it and like unfold it. This one is like a bag of plastic and it has like some like foam on the inside. So it's squishy to mimic what kind of packaging this actually comes in. Some of them are hard plastic, like this one is hard plastic. The raisins. So it kind of depends what sort of packaging it comes in in real life. This cereal box is a box, cardboard box. This one is plastic and has cardboard, because it has like the thing around the top. So, anyway, kind of interesting. They like mimic the containers. <laughs> Can you open the raisins? No, no, they're just toys. There's not anything in them. They're not food or anything. They're just toys. You are not wearing the feet tubes, how dare you? Oh, I have socks on right now, but I won't be showing them to you. Socks are a private thing. Can I tell you guys something? The other day, <laughs> someone in my chat, um, they came into my chat and they said, show me your boots. Um, and then my mods banned them. And at the time I was like, what's wrong with asking to see your boots? I guess feet, it's like a weird question to ask. Turns out they meant something else. Makes more sense now. But I was, when it happened, I was like, why'd they get banned? <laughs> oh. <laughs> they didn't mean boots. <laughs> I, listen, I'm not like that gullible usually about this sort of thing. Just at that time, I did, it didn't cross my mind. Sometimes they're, they're usually a little bit more straightforward, okay? <laughs> <laughs> when people say stuff like that, normally they come out right and say it. <laughs> Oy, anyway, um, if only you knew what kind of stuff we had to see. Maybe a typo? No, 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 guys. <laughs> Don't assume the best of this person. They were, they were asking to see something else. <laughs> And they were tormenting people on the internet by saying stuff like this. And they were typing it wrong, probably on purpose, um, with the intention of not getting picked up by bots. Cause like, auto mods gonna know if you try and say, show me your boobs. And they won't know if you try and say, show me your boots. Anyway, um, I assume it was intentional. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay. Um, let's start, let's start decorating. Yeah, I'm gonna start with some landscaping, I think. So if you're just coming in, um, we have been, well, for like an hour and a half yesterday, we worked on this. Um, it's a horse apartment, <laughs> but in reality, it's, what I'm trying to build is like a neighborhood. So we're on a 64 by 64 lot, and I'm trying to build like three houses in a neighborhood. So that's sort of the idea. Um, I didn't furnish them yet. I just, I put like some filler furniture so I could lay out the floor plans, but I haven't actually furnished them. Um, and we spent like two hours on this building the exteriors yesterday. And today we're gonna landscape and try to furnish them. The three houses have a shared barn in the middle. Um, and that's kind of the idea. So, <laughs> um, hey Lanny and Moon Socks and Pudgy and, and Than and Baby and Legacy, uh, Tremere and Miss Anderson and Spark and Freeland and SJP and, and um, Dyes and Tom and Lewis and Kay Faisal and Davey and Spiffy and Cindy and, and uh, Sarla and Princess and Knit and Freeland and, and Sterling and Cool Guy and Davey and Geo with the gifted subs. Oh my God. <laughs> Madeline Cloud. Hey, I'm Mama Sim, Polar, Kirby, Ellie, Murray and Highland and C and Emma. How do I always do this? I didn't talk. I talked about advent calendars for so long. Thank you all so much for the subs and stuff. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Did I change my camera position like this one? Hold on, let me think really fast. Sit middle. No, okay. So <laughs> sometimes I like rotate it so I can show you more of the cat tree, um, but I it's back where it belongs. <laughs> so you made, me, you made me have to check if it was off center. <laughs> We're fine. <laughs> Despicable and Shannon, Bambi, 
Uh, Evo with a thousand bits. Thank you so much, JD and Milo and Ruby and Simaris and Map and Amorous and Shadow and Maggie and Gingy and Sammy and Jay and Kurfi and Anna and Garb and Louise and Agnes and Tar Heel. I'm almost caught up, you guys. <laughs> Amanda, Nimbus, Kate, Bailey, Chels, Mandy, Birdie, Soro, Sid, Pulitz, and Zab and Apollo and Tiger. Oh my goodness, Mervin. <laughs> random cat, uh, Chanelli, Paige, Ruby, and, uh, and Jay, and Sugar, and Raccoon, and Squid, and Aya, and LJ, and K, and Melv, and Dior. Thank you all so much for the subs and bits and stuff. Is that a baby? Where? Why is there a baby? Oh, in debug? Oh, it's just debug. You scared me. I was like, is that, when you said, is that a baby? I was like, where? <laughs> is there something in here? I hope not. <laughs> So, um, someone else asked if there's gonna be cats on the stream today. I, I'm never gonna force the cats to be in here, but if they come in and say hi, which they probably will, um, we shall see them. Okay, I'm looking for debug landscaping first. That is my number one priority, is we're gonna start trying to get some bushes placed and stuff, I think. Show us shrimp. Um, well, he's downstairs, so... Ooh, okay. I'm gonna delete the foundation, I think, quick. Oh my god, I'm building this on a regular lot type. Delete the foundation to make things easier. How about that? Where is my... Am I not in live edit? TV.show live edit objects. Debug. Thought they fixed the lag. Yeah, I mean, yesterday there was an update and they claimed to have improved the lag, but I wouldn't say they fixed it. <laughs> it's a lot better, um, but I don't think that it's like completely fixed. Does that make sense? Um, are you gonna watch Drag Race season 16? What kind of question is that? Of course. <laughs> of course. I'm excited about it. Um, okay. So what we're gonna start by doing is like laying out a lot of the landscaping outside. So that is step one. It's probably gonna take us a while. Made the lag worse for you in build mode? I can't imagine a world where that's possible. <laughs> worse than how it was before <laughs> they they really they did improve the lag a uh, large amount um so speaking from experience um okay uh also onyx and ross and and jeremy and lottie and chase thank you for the subs everybody i am playing stardew valley music today yeah because we're farming it's appropriate on a day like today Okay, um, I forgot to start recording, so let me get that back up too. Okay, I don't really know how I wanna lay out the landscaping over here either. I'm a little bit intimidated by this. Oh, this is good. Tall tree is good. I think that helps with the side. We need to get a lot of trees in here. Um, yeah, I saw that about Sims Freeplay being around for 12 years as of today. That's kind of wild. I am not really a big um, mobile Sims game player. I don't know about you guys, but I, I played Sims Freeplay a little bit, like, probably like 10 years ago. <laughs> um, but not much, not much else than that. I don't know if any of you have played it a lot. But it's been a long time for me since I last played. You used to play it? Yeah. Um, makes sense. I think I probably should give it a go again just so I can be well versed in, in the, in what's going on with it, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I feel like I should know what's happening with Sims Freeplay. So maybe I should play it. I should download it. 
used to play free play and mobile sims 4 so much better yeah that's the thing when it comes to like the sims specifically because i do play some mobile games but but the sims and like the experience i i'm expecting and, and wanting out of the sims isn't really something that i would look for in a mobile game you know like it's just it's not really what i don't think it's for me i guess is basically what i'm trying to say i feel like i'm not the target audience for sims mobile What is this goofy music? What do you mean goofy music? It's the Stardew Valley soundtrack. <laughs> oh, that breaks my heart. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to space out all of the trees as a starting point. Okay. Should we have... Do you think outside I should put, like, a pool? Or should there be no pool? Outside, should I have a stable or should there be no stable? These are all important questions. You know? <laughs> Allie! Al, thank you for the subs! Um, another Allie with the sub, Alk and, and Vanilla and Larley and Crystal, thank you so much. Stable, yes pool, no stable, oh no. I'm seeing a lot of conflicting opinions. We do have a shared barn. So I do, to an extent, want to try and encourage the Sims to use the shared barn instead of like some sort of stable that I give them. Um, like I think in an ideal world, they would primarily use the shared one. Cause I think that's gonna be kind of cool for them to have. Um, but you might, if you were playing on this lot, you might have more than just one horse. So you might need extras, you know? Um, okay. I thought you built horse apartments. I'm confused. What do you mean? I'm building a horse neighborhood. We're calling it horse apartments sort of as a joke, but... <laughs> It's a, it's a neighborhood for owning horses. It's kind of the idea. Campfire? Yes, that's a good idea. We'll put some fire pits out here and stuff. Okay. Can you designate what yard belongs to what rental? Kind of. Um, so in this case, these yards are not rooms. That's kind of the key deciding factor anytime you're doing anything in The Sims is like the room situation. Um, so I'll be able to assign this part, but not, I can't click on the floor here because it's not a room. Um, that's fine though, because there's not a gate, so you can only access it from this house. I am going to put a gate, <laughs> so that's going to complicate things a little bit. Uh, but there's ways to, to work around it, so that way we could have like maybe the gate as part of a room, so only the sims that are living here can get into this yard. I'm not that worried, to be honest, about sims that are not living here using the yard, though. I'm kind of happy for anybody to use any yards, like, um, I think it's kind of fun, so I don't really mind, personally. Um, okay, so I'll probably take this, fill this in a little bit. Should make the barn cat friendly for barn cats. Yeah, that'll be kind of fun. I mean, there's gonna be probably pets everywhere all the way around this whole setup, so. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like, I'm, I'm totally okay with encouraging the Sims to be out and about um, and like not only in their own yards. Like, I, I sort of really like the Sims interacting um, everywhere. So I don't really mind um, if Sims that aren't living in this house use this yard a little bit because I just think it's kind of fun. So, um, okay. How did you place the columns of that? I thought you had to place them individually and reselect them. Um, if you hold shift, you can place multiple of anything. So maybe that's what you're thinking about. Shift is a lovely hotkey, really comes in handy. So. Okay. 
Sorry, we gotta wait. Dave is using our barbecue, then we can grill. Yeah, seriously, imagine in real life. It's like, oh, guys, we can't, we were gonna use our chess table. We can't, <laughs> the neighbor's using it <laughs> in our yard. <laughs> But I don't really mind. I think it's kind of fun in The Sims that they do that, so. I'm okay with it. Those are big bushes. Yeah, I like it though. I think it's kind of fun how it takes up a lot of space in this yard. It's kind of what I'm going for. I want to fill in a lot of landscaping areas this way. Okay. Cute. Yeah? Um, I think, oh, we're going to be here forever. <laughs> this is going to take us so long. Maybe a basement for the nectar. You know, we didn't, we didn't end up putting a basement in any of these houses. Um, we could have, but I didn't end up putting a basement in these ones. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we will go back in and add one as we're furnishing them, but, um, Okay, I like that. I like that too. See, now all of a sudden, sims that are not my sims can get into these yards. Okay, I don't think that this yard is gonna be well suited for a pool then. I guess these people have extra horses and not a pool. Maybe one of them could have a pool and then one of them could be like, a farmer. I don't know. We'll see. What about a pond outside? I don't know, Bestie. We have a lot of space taken up already. <laughs> we need to be a little bit reasonable about how much you guys are trying to add in. Like, I know, I know that it's a big lot, but, but look how full it is, <laughs> you know? Um, it's a lot. What is this music? It's the Stardew Valley soundtrack. This part's kind of a weird part. Um, this is the wizard's theme song. It plays in a cutscene with the wizard um, in Stardew Valley. So if you've not seen it, you're probably like, what the heck is this? But that's what the heck it is. <laughs> so. Okay, I don't know. We're gonna have a lot of landscaping to do. This is gonna be a whole thing. I'm warning you now. One of the yards have chickens and cows. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe I'll have these people be farmers. Um, perhaps they could have cows like just in their regular yard. Okay, chickens. I wanna get some plants as well. Should we do like, what do you think is the best way to split this up? I'm not sure. Should there be like a separate fence to fence in the cows? Maybe. Will the houses be rentable or for the player? Um, I don't understand the question. They're gonna be rentable, yes, because I'm gonna, like, like, rentable as in they're gonna be rental residentials? Yeah, that's the idea. Um, you, the, as the player, could choose to live in them, or you could rent them out to someone else. Um, I guess if you downloaded the lot, but, um, the idea is that you could live here, you could rent it, your friend could live here, whatever you want. So, do horses and cows interact? Um, I actually don't know the answer to that question. My assumption is no, because the cows are objects. So, <laughs> probably not what you want to hear, but... <laughs> um, that is my assumption about it. Okay, um, that bothers me. Can you scoot it over one more tile? Thank you. Do chickens and cows interact? No, they're objects. 
I, I really, really mean that when I say it. <laughs> Um, they, they stay in their, their little lane, so. Um, shed with woodworking table. A shed is a cool idea. We might have space to put a shed in this part of the yard, perhaps. No, there's no space for them to have a shed, actually. That's what I've learned. Oh dear. Okay shared shed well they have a shared barn already i i love the enthusiasm and the creativity chat it's really fun <laughs> but I, I i remind you again that we actually don't have that much extra space left <laughs> like there there we actually don't have a, a ton of room left over if we want to have like um like proper walkways and stuff in between them so um okay Let's get this over here. Goats aren't objects though. They are. <laughs> you might not think they are, but they are. They're the same as the, um, they, they work very similarly to the chickens. The only difference is that they're not, they don't have a coop. Like they don't have an object they're tied to, but um, the goats and the chickens are very similar. If you go into build mode, like if I, if I had goats on this lot and then I put it on the gallery, um, the goats would come with it on the gallery and just be there. You can size them up and down in build mode. If there's a goat, you can size it up and down. The the goats, whether you like it or not, <laughs> they are objects in this game. So it's okay. There's not a better way to do it. Like I don't really have expectations for them otherwise, but um, it, they are, so. Um, okay. I think... Maybe one of these. The chicken size up? Yep. They sure do. Works the exact same way. <laughs> Very similar situation. <laughs> um, it's a good thing that it's like that though. I mean, you'd rather have the chickens be like an object or whatever the game wants them to be called. Um, than to have them like as a part of your household because um, then it would take up a household slot and imagine if you wanted to have a coop of like four or five chickens and that takes up four that counts as like four or five sims in your house like that would be horrible so it's actually it's a good thing that the chickens are objects as far as the game is concerned like it would be way worse if they um, if the game thought that they were items or if the game thought that they were like sims or whatever um it sounds bad, but in, in reality, I think it's a good thing, so. Um, okay. Are cows objects? Yeah, same thing. They're, and they're tied to an object as well. Um, okay. I think that over here, I wanna get a little bit more landscaping. I don't know what all I'm gonna put on these little sections, but I just, I want it to be like, I want it to be very cozy, so. Um, where was I asking about pools? Oh, we talked about adding a pool into the backyard of one of these houses, but chat was a lot more excited about that idea than I was. <laughs> so we'll see about that. I don't know if it's gonna work out. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, we shall see, we shall see. Uh, I, I actually personally wasn't that thrilled about the concept, but some people in chat were like really, really into it and making their voices very heard, so. Can horses go inside a house? Yeah. Um, the horses can go inside buildings because then you can make barns, right? Sort of like this. Um, as long as they can't go inside houses that have a foundation because the horses can't climb stairs, um, but they can walk into flat buildings. So even short wall height. And you, if they, if it's medium wall height, then your sim can ride into the house with the horse, which is kind of cool too. So 
no pool what if the horse has fallen that see that's the spirit that's that's the kind of stuff we need to be thinking about seems like a pool is not safe chat so therefore we can't have one um yeah, I want to have, I think, probably very similar landscaping for all of these. But maybe they could have some slightly different flowers or something around them. You know? Can the horses swim in The Sims? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely not in The Sims. Um, they There is a part in the world out in the environment where they can, like, walk through a shallow creek. But they, they wouldn't have um, animated enough for them to be able to swim. That's too much. Animating horses is like notoriously a nightmare. Like not just in The Sims, but just in general. So they would never try to animate them swimming for no reason. Like there's really no reason for them to swim in The Sims. It would be cool, sure, but they don't need to do that. You know, like it's fine if they don't, so. Um. Okay, can we have a swing? Yeah, that'd be cute. We'll get some like kids stuff in the backyard for sure. Um, okay. I might wanna get one more of these. Something like that maybe? Landscaping of this sort of thing takes forever. <laughs> Like, actually forever. What if one of the houses had bees? Yeah, I'd like to add bees probably in the farm one. And we're not really doing, um, we're not really doing restricted packs. We're kind of just building for fun, so. It's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be a multiple day builds, multiple pack house giant. There's so many lots, like, <laughs> we're gonna probably really want to have, um, some extra packs to work with as we're trying to furnish three houses, you know? I can see that would probably come in handy. <laughs> okay. Um, everyone's spamming about bees. They've been spamming about bees, so <laughs> I'll put a bee down, so <laughs> we'll move it around, obviously, but, um, okay. Um, back to debug, more bushes. Um, horse ranch, horse ranch, there we go. Um, hello Stargaze, I feel like a lot of times when I build houses like this, that are sort of farm-like, they end up having bees. Uh, I, I would say that I, I play with bees Sem somewhat regularly when I build and stuff like this. I don't- my average sims don't have bees, but I don't think I- I don't think I don't use bees. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Will you be able to see the other family horses when playing with Ferent? Well, so I haven't played with horses with Ferent yet, but what I will tell you is if your neighbor has like a dog or a cat, you see those. Um, so I don't see why you wouldn't see their horses. If you can see their dogs and their cats, right? You never use bees? You're kind of scared of the bees? That, I mean, that checks out. I get it. Who wouldn't be? I actually, I, I feel like I'm not that good at having my sims take care of the bees. So I don't really use them that often either. It's just not really a priority, you know? You never see your neighbor's kids. Oh, really? I've, I've seen them. Um, it probably also kind of depends how much, like, how much stuff there is outside of the house for them to be going and using. Because the more stuff they have, probably the more likely, oh, this would be cool if we just had like an old shed kind of out and about in the environment fill in some space. Um, but yeah, it probably depends how much um, stuff there is for them to be using. Like if you had playground equipment outside, maybe you'd be more likely to see the neighbor's kids using it than if you didn't have anything for the kids to be doing outside of your house. 
Obviously, I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing out ideas, but... Um, Managed to lose your cursor on your screen. Nice, Tilly. Here's a good example of the goats being objects, by the way. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> undo. <laughs> undo, undo, undo. Yikes. Woohoo bush in the fake shed. Oh. Do you think your sims can go in there? That's kind of iconic. The woohoo bush being in there. How cool would that be? Even if they can't use it, I actually don't even think I care. <laughs> like it, it looks cool enough that it's fine. If it, <laughs> if it's non-functional, I don't even mind. I just like the, the idea of it, you know? Um, it is debug, so they, they are often able to walk through stuff like this. So. We'll see. Okay, so this one's like very farm vibes. This one, should we have this be like a vineyard? Cause I really like the idea of that. <laughs> um, maybe like, I don't know if I, if I could give them a basement for it. I could give them a shed though, so they could they could make the nectar in the shed, um, and then we can lay this out kind of like a vineyard. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm thinking that I will put like rows of dirt. Maybe I'll put them quite close together. Oh, here we go. She's starting with the terrain pain. Are there benefits to making a basement? Yeah, because the nectar ages faster in the basements, but these sims don't get a basement, I've decided. They'll age nectar slow. What's probably actually gonna end up happening, if we're being realistic and honest with ourselves, is the people in the house next door to this one are better equipped for having a vineyard than these sims would be. <laughs> because these sims are gonna have fake grapes. At least that's what I'm planning on giving them, like the debug stuff. So, in reality, these sims have the farm, <laughs> but it's okay. They can work together and you'll be able to use this. We'll make the, we'll make their barn thing shared or their nectar shed or whatever. We'll make it shared. So it'll be fine. Okay. I don't know how. Okay. That is the vibes. I should probably have them be flipped around this way, huh? All of them. Yeah. That's cool though, right? You can assign yards to a tenant? Yeah, you can. The thing is, it has to be a room for it to be assigned to them, like, correctly. These yards are not rooms, um, but you can assign any, any room to a tenant, so. To answer your question, yes. That should be bigger than this, right? Like we should extend it a little bit further. Maybe like down a couple more. I think that's a really cool idea. We could probably give them some real grapes as well. I just like how these look a lot, so I wanna use them. But we can give them some real grapes growing like maybe down this way. I like the idea of it being a little bit wider so it takes up more of the yard. If my terrain paint deletes, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I'm really having fun doing the exterior of these. I don't really even care that much about the interior. I'm just really excited about the exteriors. <laughs> I really, really love doing exteriors of stuff like this. 
Um, okay. So... Here will be their little tiny shed. I will probably give them... I mean, maybe we could put it up on a slight foundation to... Maybe, wait, hold on. Before you do that, let's landscape. Oops, put it down too low. Oh, they could have a basement out here. You could access the basement from the shed. And then we can still have the stuff aging in a basement. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's like it has to be from the house. But we'll put it out here. That makes way more sense anyway. <laughs> Duh. Okay. There you go. Problem solved. It'll be like a cellar back here. Um... Is this a Stardew challenge? No, no, it's just for fun. I happen to be playing the Stardew Valley soundtrack, but <laughs> no, no, it's just a it's just a fun build. There's there's no challenge involved. We're just playing for fun. Um. Okay. Cute. Um. Have you saved recently? Have you no? <laughs> Someone else asked if I'd seen the boiling trash, and the answer to that question is also no. I don't even know what that means. Let me save. Are you going to put rentals in those big lots in Delso Valley? Yeah, I've already- I mean, I've built some things back there that I could uh, edit into rentals as well. We have a lot of options for it. Um, okay. Um... Builds that out just a bit. Raise this up just a bit. Okay. Amy, my love, I promise I've seen your picnic suggestion, just so you know. <laughs> I promise, I saw it, I saw it. Um, I'm just not like furnishing right now, so. Um, we're, we're sort of figuring out like very broad layouts and not so much like little furniture details. Um, okay. Okay. All right, good night, Tilly. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. <laughs> I will see you later. Okay. Is it laggy? Um, I mean, I'm not on a rental lot right now. I'm on a regular lot. I'm, I have the intention of switching it to a rental. Oops, I want just the column. I'm gonna switch it to a rental. No, you know what I want to do actually is use um, one of these. They they supposedly fixed the the lag problems in the rental lot types. Um, my my thing is, uh, it's still kind of laggy. <laughs> it's not as laggy, but it's still kind of laggy. Um, so I don't know. It's definitely an improvement, but. Your game is laggier now? Somebody else said that earlier and I was telling them, I was like, I can't even imagine that. I That's so horrible. Yours was incredibly laggy post-patch. Really? Because yesterday we were playtesting it a little bit and I was having a way better time. Um, specifically with the wallpaper lag. The wallpaper lag in particular was like running way better. Um, so it was an improvement, but it's not like an immediate solve. You know, there was an update. Yeah, it was a sort of like an emergency bug fix update yesterday. So, laggy isn't a real word anymore. I know we said it so many times. It's like <laughs> laggy's not even a word anymore. Okay, Nell, Danny, Casey, Elson, and KS, and Tay, and K Marie, and Grace, and clearly, thank you for the subs. Is the rent fixed? Well, so so the the bug where the rent is a ridiculous price. Yes. Um, <laughs> the rent being paid was never broken. It just worked in a way that I thought was dumb and didn't make sense. They always paid rent, apparently, is what I've realized. It was just working in ways that didn't make any sense to me. How does it actually work? It pays you on Wednesdays, except sometimes it doesn't. I think that might have to do, when it, when it doesn't come on Wednesdays, I think it might have to do with, um, tenant revolts though so 
you read too many bad reviews of for rent you know what i i know a lot of people have i've seen people on like social media saying that this pack i you guys this is still some of the most fun i have literally ever had playing the sims 4. like literally ever <laughs> and i mean that yeah, the rent were, uh, the bug where, like, people were getting, uh, like, billions of dollars rent costs, that was fixed in the update yesterday, too. That was a known bug. Um, but this pack, I, I, this is, like, some of the most fun I've literally ever had playing The Sims. I, this has completely changed the game for me. Um, I really like it. <laughs> um, personally, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I've really, really, really enjoyed this one, so. Um, I know some people have said they don't like it, but I find it so fun. <laughs> Like, so, 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 so fun. Um, in what way did it change the game for me to like it so much? Well, just the ability to build stuff like this and to play in my own apartments. I love playing in apartments. I love playing in apartments. And I have always built fake apartments. Like, be, like building fake neighborhoods like this. I used to do this when I was a kid. Like, this is like always what I've liked about building in The Sims. And so the fact that you can do this and then have it work, <laughs> like this is so cool for me. <laughs> and and to play and stuff like this, um, and and to like live in an apartment but have it be like a custom one is such an improvement compared to like the San Juno ones. I, as a builder and as a person who likes to play in the builds that I make, this is so cool. This is just so cool. Um, I really, really, really enjoy it. Um. But anyway, I really like to have my Sims live in apartments. And I, I, I don't know. I feel like I've been wanting this exact thing out of a Sims pack for like forever. <laughs> so. You think it's too small to be an expansion? See, I don't even, I don't even come close to agreeing with you on that one. I don't even know how to like rebuttal to people that say stuff like that. Cause I, what kind of, what, what more do you think it needs? There's a- it completely adds a brand new build feature that we've never had anything like, you know? But you haven't played it yet with your families? What, me? Um, maybe not, like, con maybe you haven't seen, but <laughs> you realize that I had early access to this pack for, like, weeks, right? <laughs> or, like, two weeks? I played, like, hours and hours and hours of this pack in a lot of different ways <laughs> when I had early access to it. So, um, with my saves, yeah, I mean, I'm like my pre-existing saves. I haven't moved in, moved them into it yet. No, but, um, anyway, I think that I, I think that this one is uh, very comparable to any other expansion we've ever gotten. I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's worse than any other expansion and every expansion is, is good for different people for different reasons. Like the best, my favorite expansion might be your least favorite expansion because they always have, they're always targeted towards different people um, with with like different things included. So what I like, you might hate and vice versa. Um, I don't think that it's a bad expansion pack by any means. And I, I objectively, it's not lacking in content compared to other expansions. So um, anyway, and it's really fun to build with. You like to build, so. I'm like getting defensive. I think the reason I feel defensive is because I don't want, I, I'm really paranoid about people thinking that I am a liar, I think, when it comes, because people accuse me of being paid off by EA to say stuff, which is just the most ridiculous, absurd thing I've ever heard in my entire life, but whatever. Um, so I, I get kind of defensive when people are like, this thing is actually horrible. And I'm like, wait, but I liked it. <laughs> Because I don't want people to think that I'm like telling you a lie. Because um, I, I would never lie to you about a Sims pack. I have no reason to lie to you about a Sims pack. If anything, lying to you about a Sims pack would be so detrimental to me and my, my situation because then no one would trust me anymore. <laughs> you know, like I, anyway, I have no reason to lie to you about a Sims pack. I'm not like some evil mastermind who's trying to get a bunch of kids to ask for an expensive pack for Christmas that I actually secretly think is bad. Like, <laughs> you know? Anyway. <laughs> oh. Um We're getting somewhere. We need a lot more landscaping still. We shall see. Um, um 
Maybe some more bushes over here. I don't know. I think so. And then we'll have like paths, like terrain paint paths. You are a mastermind, but not an evil one. Thanks. <laughs> You like Fortnite more than a lot of the packs? Yeah, it's interesting. It's so different to for everybody, you know? Um, yeah, I'm confused. Christine, you've had a lot more bugs than I have had with this pack, for sure. Um, you've definitely had a way worse time with it than I have had, bug-wise. Um, which really stinks. Okay. Um, do you know when Fortnite will go on sale? <laughs> I mean... I would not expect this pack to go on sale for months. Like, probably not until closer to whenever the next expansion pack is going to come out. So, unfortunately, probably not for a long time. Um, I know nobody wants to hear that, but... Usually the expansion packs, they're not going to put it on... Like, people kept asking me if I thought it was going to go on sale for Christmas. <laughs> No, they they released it so you'll buy it full price for Christmas. <laughs> they won't give it to you on sale for Christmas, that's for sure. Um, the horse pack actually went on sale pretty quick, comparatively to like previous Sims packs. Um, and that's just because this pack was coming out, the for rent pack was coming out. So um, it really depends um, on probably when like the next expansion pack comes out, but I wouldn't expect it until like the spring, to be honest. Um, give it a few months, maybe like in March or something, like, um, that would be my assumption. <laughs> Hard to say, you don't really know, but that's, that was my guess. Yeah, some people in chat are saying March too, so. Um, okay. I don't know if I like that or not, probably not. Oh yeah, and definitely not until the early purchase content expires. So like certainly not before uh, like late January, but that's a given anyway. Um, this music has stressed you. <laughs> this is festival game music. <laughs> that's funny. Um, about when will the next pack come out or start to be teased? Oh, I have no idea. Not a single, even close to having a clue about that one. Um, with So this year we got more expansion packs than we have in previous years. That doesn't necessarily mean that next year we will, like it really just kind of depends. Um, so it's hard to guess. Um, and so I don't know, I don't know. We usually get like in a normal year, pre-COVID, we'd get an expansion pack in the summertime and then around the holidays. And then we only got one expansion pack a year and then we got three last year. I don't know if next year is gonna be three, if it'll be two, I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think it's safe to assume an expansion pack will come out in the summer though, because they usually do. Mm. Okay. If you're not used to Stardew Valley, this music probably is weird, huh? <laughs> if you don't play this game, you're probably like, what is going on? <laughs> okay. Um... All right. I think that's good. We've gotten somewhere with this, everybody. I'm just trying to put in like some little bushes around. What are some packs you would like to see next? Oh, I don't know. I have a long list. The number one thing I want right now is hotels, but I don't know if that's gonna come anytime soon. A lot of people want fairies. That's probably like the community's most requested thing right now, but that would probably be a game pack and not an expansion pack, so. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Joked about horses for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what's wild is they probably worked on horses a lot longer than that even. Um, and knew they were going to be making them for a lot longer than that. 
probably took them so long to make the horses, like so long. I got in trouble. I <laughs> I saw these tweets again recently. I got in trouble um, for saying that I was joking about wanting horses a few years ago because it was like not nice of me to make fun of people who wanted horses for real. Except I wasn't actually making I wasn't making fun of anybody. I also wanted horses. I just didn't think they were gonna come to the Sims Four. So. That was all, <laughs> but I got in trouble for making jokes about wanting horses. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Should we do terrain paint? Oh, you know what we need to do also? I'll give you trouble for that. Oh, the internet. <laughs> oh, the internet. It's a fun place at times. Um, no, no, no. Come here. Okay. So that'll be where the grapes will go. I've got those lined up. Should we start putting in some more flowers? I've been landscaping for an hour. One hour of landscaping. That's ridiculous. Um, you didn't think they'd add improved babies? Oh, I didn't think so either. I really did not think we'd ever get a baby update. That one, that one shocked me when I first heard about that. I, cause I really, really didn't think that would ever come. Um. Oh God. Please don't clip. There we go. Back up. What about stairs, Simsy? What, for these? Or are you telling me, are you saying you want a stair update or do you mean stairs for these? <laughs> I had stairs here before, but then I deleted the foundation. So I have to put the stairs back. More careers, more active careers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Active careers are, are fun. I actually quite enjoy the get to work careers. The only problem is they're kind of repetitive. Um, but it's not that big of a deal. It's still fun to play them. I actually like playing as a doctor and stuff. Oh, when I reacted to the stairs update. Oh, I was really excited about that stairs update. The update we're talking about is when we were able to rotate stairs and like make L-shaped stairs. If you guys don't haven't played The Sims for a long time, or maybe you don't build that much, this might not matter to you, but I'm serious. When that update was teased, that was like the best day of my life. I was so excited. I was like near tears over it. Like I actually could have cried thinking about that update. So why isn't there a pop star kind of career? Oh, that would be cool too, wouldn't it? Maybe I'll make this one a little bit higher foundation. Having different height foundations could be kind of fun. Oh, and the window placement. So we can free place windows now, like kind of anywhere before you couldn't. Being able to do that completely changed how everybody builds in The Sims. Like back in the day. So now if you wanted to, you could like put a window on top of a window and it's fine. Back in the day, if you did that, it would turn the previous window into a hole, like a gaping hole in the wall. Um, you weren't, you weren't able to do that. You couldn't stack windows. You couldn't free place windows. You couldn't alt place. Like you, you couldn't do any of that. Um, that was a massive update. <laughs> Same thing with doors. You couldn't do it with doors either. Um, that completely changed everything. Like being able to place it on half tiles even. Unbelievable. Huge deal. Huge, huge, huge deal. So, um... I think the person delivering your food stole it. Oh no, oh, that's horrible. That's only ever happened to me one time and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> they, when my, the, I ordered like tofu, a tofu bowl or something um, and they delivered it, took a picture of it, picked it back up and went back to their car. And I watched them do it. Like <laughs> standing right there. I was like, I have the camera up, you know? <laughs> like I watched it happen. But they like took a picture of it, picked it back, back up and walked away. That was a long time ago. That was a couple years ago in my old house, but yeah, that happened to me once as well. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Um. <laughs> yeah, they sent they the app had them had someone else deliver it again, like picked it up again and delivered it again, but. Um. Anyway, kind of messed up. <laughs> I like to think that that person probably didn't want a tofu bowl though. Like some people want tofu, I do. But I, I sort of take comfort in the fact that they probably were like, oh, 
when they got into it, you know? <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> I hope I hope it was a letdown for them though. <laughs> anyway, um Okay. You love tofu too? Yeah, me too. It's really good. How could this guy be a letdown? How could tofu be a letdown? Um, had half a block of tofu straight for dinner tonight? Nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, we want to get some more flowers, I guess. I'm gonna look and debug from Cottage Living. I'm sorry you guys have to watch me I'm sorry you guys have to watch me landscape so much. I can't even speak. Cottage Living might have some good stuff for this. Um... Varying heights update, please, for all ages. Ooh. The varying heights thing, that's one of those, uh, that's one of those Sims updates that I'm afraid I don't think will come to The Sims 4. <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to think that that, it might be, like, the ship might have sailed on that one, I guess. Um, because the problem with that is that they would have to redo all the animations and then for, like, different heights and then also like remake a lot of clothing to like be size adjusting better, like for height. Um, there's a mod that is a height slider, but you if you've played with a mod before, you'll know that like the animations are kind of strange a lot of the time. Like if you try and have two sims that are different heights kiss, you know, instead of like kissing lips, they just... <laughs> um, so, so when it comes to like them officially adding that in The Sims 4, um, I think I, I'm afraid that it might be like too late for them to go back and do that. And that might have to be the kind of thing that gets like built in when they build an, a future Sims game from the ground up. Like it might be not feasible in The Sims 4 right now. I mean, I'm sure it is feasible technically, but like, like realistically, it's probably not something that they would ever prioritize um, just because it would take so much effort for like kind of little reward. Um, but It'd be a lot of work for them to do that. Don't need a slider because jeans were shorter. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I kind of feel similarly about that, where like for me, I just wish that there was like some difference between the teens and the adults in the game. Um, but it would be really cool to have a height slider. Uh, that's like the kind of cool customization that I would really like to see in whatever this Project Renee thing is gonna be. Because teens, they, they look very similar to adults in The Sims 4, so. If they were just a little bit shorter. Obviously, a lot of teens in real life are the same height as adults, but this is The Sims, and teen is like 14 to 18, <laughs> you know? And there's a big difference between that, so. Um, anyway, obviously in real life, like, that's pretty normal, but in The Sims, I think it would we would benefit from some difference. Um, so, use a single bed and not a double bed to show it. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me too. I do that a lot. I like to have my, my teens like upgrade to a double bed when they grow up from a child into a teen. That's kind of what I usually do for them. Um, what is Project Renee? Project Renee is the next Sims game. They haven't called it The Sims 5. Um, they haven't named it at all. It's sort of like a code name. Oh, like things just have code names. All things do. Um, even like the PlayStation Five had a code name before it was released. Um, so it's not abnormal. If it's alarming to you, don't worry. <laughs> um, but it's like the next gen Sims game that they're working on. They've sort of teased it online. You can Google Project Renee and see some stuff from it. There's like some prototype stuff that they've shared um, of of build mode and stuff. It's not going to be what it's actually going to look like. They're really just prototyping right now, but. Kind of fun. We're building horse apartments? Yeah, it's like a horse neighborhood. There's three houses and then a shared barn. It's kind of what I'm doing. So, um, read somewhere there's only read. I, whenever I, I always see messages that are like, I see them from the reply and not the original. I can't see the full thing. Um, yeah, so you you read correctly about that. They're they're doing like a super early 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 access to Project Renee like couple 
playtesting trials. That's how some stuff leaked from it, which you might have seen online. But I, I cannot stress enough that those people are not playing it. Like, there isn't a game to play. Like, what they were playing was like a prototype experiment where they were experimenting with some things that could be in build mode. Um, it's not the real game. They haven't made a game. <laughs> like, like they're, they're uh, really like trialing and prototyping and brainstorming what it might be like, but they haven't made it yet. So, so when they did that, like they're not stupid. It, when they open up a play test to the public, obviously a limited public, but still the public, they, they knew that people were gonna share it. Um, like, they didn't want them to, <laughs> but like, that's sort of a risk that you take when, when they do stuff like that. And it's not the game. Like, it's, it's just a, um, no, it's not public public brew. It's not public. It was private, but open to some people from the public. I don't know how they invited people to it, to be honest, but there was like randoms in it. Um, and, and that was, again, it was like a prototype. Like the, it wasn't the real game. Which game? It's Project Renee, the future Sims game. Um, so it's like, it's like years away from ever coming out. They probably haven't built like, you know, um, they're just working on ideas and what it might end up being like, so. If you see things from, the, from it that you don't like, I wouldn't worry too much about it, basically. If you're like, wow, I, I don't like the look of that, it's not gonna look like that. So. Um, okay. Um, well, they would have had him on NDAs. The thing is, Bubble, a lot of people don't take NDAs very seriously <laughs> in game spaces. Um, I'm certain they did have them on very strict and uh, scary sounding NDAs, but um, I don't know. You even see it with the Sims community. Like there's people on Twitter. I don't even know how these people on Twitter find out about stuff. Cause there's people on Twitter that leak things that I like, not to be like, even I don't know about that, but there's people on Twitter that leak stuff that I don't know about. And like, People think that I know all this stuff about the Sims behind the scenes. I don't. <laughs> I know some things sometimes. I don't right now. Um, but like people, you know. Yeah, like the person who leaked the GTA trailer, like they would have been under an NDA. They still did it anyway. Um, you know. Anyway. And yeah, you are opening yourself up to like legal threats by doing that, but the Sims hasn't ever cracked down on anybody like that. So they just, keep going, <laughs> I guess. They just keep doing it. Um, but yeah, it's not, they also have to catch them or in order to do that, so. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking so far. I still, I think I wanna get a couple more little bits of bushes, but. Does that look weird in there? I don't know. I don't really have any of these anywhere, but I might try and add in a couple more. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, they would, but I don't know. The thing is, you guys, I don't know if they know, like the source of the leaks recently. I'm not sure if they've figured out <laughs> where it's coming from <laughs> is the problem. Um, I think they would very much love to know, <laughs> but I, I think the reason it keeps happening is because they still don't know who it is. <laughs> I'm not speaking on their behalf. I don't talk to them about this. They don't talk to me about leaks, obviously. I'm just guessing, but um, I feel like if they did know, it would have stopped happening <laughs> and it hasn't, so. It kind of makes me worry that it's somebody who works there. I hate to say it, but it, that's kind of the fear that I have about it. Um, truthfully. And that scares me. I don't, I really struggle to understand the, the desire to do something like that. Like you're risking your, your job and like your livelihood and your, your like ability to work in the industry in the future. And like, I just don't understand why anybody would do that. Um, what leaked? Nothing new. We're talking about past leaks right now. Um, Nothing new leaked. We're just talking generally about stuff from the past, but oh, I didn't do any of this landscaping yet. Um, 
the I, I really struggle to understand the motivations behind it. So. Um. Yikes, that has to be so far forward. I don't like it. I guess it's fine. Leaking it themselves for the free publicity. What, The Sims? I know a lot of people think that. I, I wholeheartedly disagree with you. And people always try and tell me that like, oh, you're being paid off by you to say that. And people think that I'm like just defending them. I, there's no reason for them, the leaks that we're talking about that happen, you guys, it always ends bad for them. It always does. The, I really, really know in my heart that they would never do it on purpose. And like speaking from experience, talking to like some of the devs and how sad they get when stuff leaks, like this is not, it's not good. Like you say it's free publicity, but what actually happens is it, it takes away their ability to control the narrative surrounding the announcement. Like when they, they, they have a team, a, a team that is carefully controlling what they're gonna post and how they're gonna present this stuff to us. And then when somebody on Twitter posts an out of context image, completely throws off their whole marketing plan, you know? And then people preform opinions and then often negative opinions. <laughs> it's never like people are excited. It's always negative opinions, you know? Um, and then it, it's just, it gets really out of hand really quick. Like there are times where it's been their fault that something leaked, but even then I don't, I don't think that it was on purpose. Um, I just can't, I, I, I've never seen it go well for them. I really cannot imagine why they would do that. I, I just, I don't agree that they would do it on purpose. Um, a lot of times the leaks of expansion packs, uh, come from like when they send it out to, to other platforms, to like, to other retailers for when it goes on sale. A lot of times, um, it's like those third parties, the back ends of those third parties is where it gets leaked from. And like EA can't even do anything about that. I don't think because they're, you know, they send it to PlayStation, they send it to like these Target, these other stores. And then it gets leaked from there, from Target. And it's like, well... It's third party, it's not, like, they don't care as much to protect it. Um, and so it's just, I don't know, I, I really, I really cannot see a time when they would ever have leaked it on purpose. Um, yeah, like, Steam posted Horse Ranch early. It's always, like, a time miscommunication when something gets posted early like that. Um, PlayStation leaked a kit once, like, there's all kinds of times that third party stores have leaked it. Um, so... Anyway, I just, like, I think that it's an interesting theory, but I, I with The Sims specifically, they have no reason to do that. Um, they, they benefit so much more from being able to market it themselves. So, Xbox is always leaking stuff. Yeah, not even just for The Sims, right? Like, it happens, so. I think part of the problem also with The Sims, how it seems so prevalent, is because The Sims has so many more releases. Like, The Sims might have a pack come out like every couple months versus a, another game that maybe only has one major release and it's just when the game comes out, you know? So like, there there isn't always as much to be leaked of other games, whereas The Sims has 72 pieces of DLC. So like, there's always something coming out for it, so like, there's a lot more opportunities for it to leak, you know? Um, but it's a scary number, isn't it? I know, I don't like thinking about it. <laughs> I don't like thinking about it. You work in marketing, you agree with me? Yeah. Um, CD Keys leaked towards Red is still a mystery to you. Yeah, I mean, they CD Keys always has leaks of packs and they always make their own fake renders for it and stuff in advance. Um, it's been happening a lot, so. But it, I mean, they hear about like the behind the scenes of these packs being sent out to retailers and then they're buying it from retailers to then resell their key resellers, so. I own 71 of those. Oh, <laughs> why do you put it like that? It's upsetting, isn't it? Yeah, that's a horrible number to think about. Um, okay. Okay. Should we put a sign up front, maybe? I think so. Um, we also, we already know what the next two kits are. Not from a leak, thank God. <laughs> but because it, they were fan voted. Um, so we know what the next two kits are already, which is kind of fun, I guess. Um, 
they're, uh, they were a fan voted create a sim kit and a fan voted build kit. It's gonna be like a goth create a sim kit and a medieval themed build kit. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, we've known about those for a bit because they had us vote on them a while back. Um, and those should come out in January, they said. So that's what we can expect. Castles. We know Brew's excited about this. <laughs> I, I think I'm worried about the, the build kit. I really like the idea of it, don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, it is The Sims 4. And anytime they've had a build kit, it has been like build instead of buy. So like build mode instead of furniture. Like, um, let me show you an example. Uh, like the Courtyard Oasis kit, there's not enough, like there's not enough, there's only two windows. There's not enough windows. I need more windows to, to accurately build a full castle. And the fact that it's gonna be a kit, I, I think, and it's like so specific, so other stuff's not gonna match it that well. Um, eh. We worked on it yesterday a little bit, Strawberry Shorts. I was planning on streaming twice yesterday, working on this and then playing Not So Berry, and then I started feeling really sick. <laughs> so, will you still build me a historical castle? I would like to do that, Brew. We can work on it. It'll be fun. Um, it'll be fun. But yeah, I just get nervous about this. Glad you got better. I don't know if I'm feeling that much better, to be honest. My head doesn't hurt as bad right now, so I feel okay sitting in front of my PC and my lights, but... Um... I don't know. I think I'm getting sick. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, here's a fun cat update. I saw someone ask about it earlier, I forgot to tell you, but now I just remembered. Um, here's a fun little fun fact about Sunny, um, the rat cat. <laughs> Sorry, Sunny. Um, <laughs> she, um, she's not cuddly during the day at all, at all. But at night, she always sleeps with me in the bed, always. And last night I was kind of curled up like on my side, sort of in a ball. And on my feet, there was Sunny. Up against my chest, there was Snap. <laughs> I had them both <laughs> for like a few hours, maybe from like, from like 4 to 7 a.m. they were there. I know because they woke me up. Snap wakes me up when she comes to cuddle with me. Sunny doesn't, because Sunny is so small. Snap is like a, I'm gonna sit on your chest and I'm gonna wake you up kind of cat. But I had them both there for like hours. The thing is, Snap didn't know Sunny was there. And then at one point she realized, <laughs> she like turned and hissed at Sunny and then turned around so she didn't have to look at her. But they were both there. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Anyway, they get along enough, but Snap still says, don't get too close to me. But Sunny keeps trying to push the boundaries. Like Sunny keeps trying to walk up and sniff her. And Sunny has noticed that she can get really close to Snap if Snap is not looking. So like if Snap is facing like this way, Sunny will come and get like this close behind her. And she's like, hee hee, I could sit right next to you and you don't know that I'm there. <laughs> and then Snap will turn around and be like, whoa, <laughs> stop. Um, so that's kind of the situation. But as soon as, as soon as Snap starts to turn, Sunny runs. Like she knows what she's doing. She's doing it on purpose. She's getting as close as she can without getting caught. And then she's like, as soon as Snap starts to look, or if Snap's eyes are closed, she'll get like really close. And then if Snap starts to open her eyes or like starts to stir or move, she'll run. <laughs> like, such a mischievous little cat, but, um, yeah, she's, she's trying. Shrimp is a little bit more brave with his approaching of Snap. He doesn't do it when her eyes are closed. He just does it. <laughs> so. He's not really afraid. He'll just go for it no matter what. Um, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. We've made great progress with the landscaping. I kind of... I. <laughs> I don't know, I almost wanna keep landscaping it, but I also know that I probably shouldn't because I know that if I, I'm gonna wanna do the terrain paint and then if the terrain paint deletes itself, I'm gonna cry. So maybe I should stop landscaping and just start furnishing and then finish that landscaping at the end as the last thing. I don't know. I don't know. I took a, wait, let me see if this picture is safe to show on stream or if you can see outside of the house. 
Because I took a funny picture of Sunny earlier. Oh, <laughs> she is so, she looks very oddly shaped in this, okay? <laughs> I'm warning you now. This is because a package came today and there was some paper in it and the kittens got really excited about it. Um, so, uh, here is Sunny. From this angle, her head looks very giant. It, she's normal, she's normal shapes, I promise. Um, but this is my rat. <laughs> I thought she looked really funny in this picture. <laughs> but they got really excited because they like to try and tear paper. So they grabbed this real fast before I had a chance to get it taken away from them. I took a picture of her with it. She is normal shaped. She doesn't look normal shaped, but she is. I promise. <laughs> And she's she's a little bald. <laughs> um, you can kind of see the bald patch. It's not that obvious in this picture, but she has a little bald spot on her chest and her neck from when she was stress scratching after her spay surgery. And now she has to be on anxiety medication. It's a it's a supplement called Zilkeen. I don't know. Um, her arm is shaved because she got spayed a couple weeks ago. So that's why she had her IV in there. Her tummy is all shaved too. <laughs> Uh, but it, she's so real for that, though. I get it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's start furnishing. Which one do you guys want to furnish first? Barn, vineyard, farm, big house. I don't know. Maybe we should do a poll. I'll make a poll. Hold on. I'm making barn, farm, vineyard, big house. The big house is the one that has the, okay, I made a poll. The big house is the one that has these guys, the stables in the back. Seems he's making the poll instead of the mods. I was quick with that one. So big house, farm, vineyard, barn. It looks like people want the big house. So we can start with this one. I like that idea. You beat me? Haha, -ha, I win, Christine. I win. Um, okay. <laughs> Jessica, Kim, and Allie, and Chloe, and Will, thank you for the subs. This is uh, Alex's keepsake box, this song that's playing right now. Okay, let's just furnish the big house then. So this is the big house in question. Um, I'll show you around the floor plan real quick. There's like kind of an entryway. Um, this is gonna be a library. We have like a dining room, kitchen, a couple bathrooms, primary bedroom. This is gonna be a living room and stuff. Up here, there's gonna be like a hallway and then three more bedrooms. So, um, cool. <laughs> Let's just begin. We'll furnish them all, don't worry. Um, we will get to all of them. We just are gonna, we have to start somewhere, you know? <laughs> you must start somewhere and this is where we are starting. We need hope for the barn furnishings. Yeah, Hope had to Hope has to work kind of late tonight, so Hope's not here. And I, I feel like it would be wrong of us to start furnishing the barn when my horse friend is not here. You know, like she's really excited about that, so we can't do it without her. That would be wrong. I'm glad that you agree, everybody. Um. Oops, make it darker wood color. There we go. Hope's a horse. <laughs> no, but she is a horse girl. She is a horse girl. All right, let's begin. Actually, let's put the fridge on this side. Um, okay. You can't place that song from Stardew. Oh, that one was Sam's band electronic version. Now this is Sam's band pop version. Next is Sam's band bluegrass version and then Sam's band heavy version. And you'll know, <laughs> let me just say this. When Sam's band heavy version plays, you'll know. <laughs> You will, you will be ready. <laughs> yeah, Sam's band is very versatile, but the heavy version is a, it's 
very obvious. <laughs> Just give it a minute, it'll come on. <laughs> Sam's band shouldn't quit their day jobs. That's me and Christine. I'd love to see you try and play in a band, Wade. I realize now that what I just said was <laughs> Christine does play instruments, <laughs> literally has a music degree. <laughs> Listen, at least I stopped myself, okay? <laughs> at least I stopped myself. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Forever simmering, thanks for the raid. We're furnishing a little uh, horse ranch sort of vibe today. Welcome in. Um, okay. Horse ranch. Let's look at all the furniture from horse ranch. Oh, I do like this green color. I do, I do think that's lovely. Cause you can't, that's not what I want out of this. Maybe I'll use that one. Mm. That might be ugly. It's hard to say. Oh well. Here. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. I told you you would know when Sam's band Heavy Metal was playing. I told you you would know. The orange seat is interesting. <laughs> what, you don't like it? I believe that we'll make it work. I believe in my heart that I can make it work. Imagine, for a second, we're doing it like this. Sweetly Phoebe, thank you for the gift of subs. Do you know what? I have always loved the name Phoebe so much. I think it's such a cool name. Um, and thank you for the gift of subs. <laughs> Okay, um, you know, Elena, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I would very much like to do that, but also it might be fun to do something different. So I don't know, we'll, we'll sort of see how it goes. Um, I, uh, I don't have a new merch company lined up uh, and <laughs> you guys, <laughs> if only you knew what I've been going through <laughs> with this. I gotta, I gotta stop. Um, anyway, we, we, it's a work in progress at the moment. <laughs> But we will get there. Um, I think I need to use a bigger table. We can use one of the smaller tables. I like this one and I wanna have six chairs around it. I think is what I'm going for. Um, can I use the Yeehaw version? I kinda like the Yeehaw version. Okay. The round table, I don't like to put six, maybe this is just me being weird, but I don't really like to put six chairs around the round table. I prefer to use the round table um, when I'm planning on putting like less chairs and, and do like four around one big round table. Um, so I, I wanna use the round table in a place where I have more room, I think. Okay. Yeah, there's just something about the six chairs around it that I don't really like. And I think that the smaller, like, regular four-seater round tables are too small. So I don't like them. I know that's picky. But, yeah, it feels kind of crowded with the six around the round table. I'm glad, I, I'm glad that you guys agree. That makes me feel better about my weird opinions about it. <laughs> Dorby, Mel, Duck, thank you for the subs. Thank you so much. Depends on the chair for you. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's not every time. I just feel like that a lot of the time. So I don't always want to use it, but not always. Um, okay. I'm liking this. Let's look at some more horse ranch stuff. This is some yeehaw stuff. So that should probably go over here. It doesn't really fit though. Never mind. Ooh, this is bathroom stuff that can go in the bathroom. We have a little side table. Looks bad. <laughs> we also don't have a good... Oh, I was gonna scoot this over, wasn't I? I had it like in line with the staircase or something. Depends how big this part needs to be. 
We shall see. Just want to give away on another stream? Oh, that's so fun! That's cool. When they get give away on a stream is quite lucky. Um, that's pretty cool. What did you win? Was it a Sims pack? Um, eh, don't know about that. Okay, is there a shared barn? Yeah, there is. That was sort of what we were most excited about was the shared barn. It was V-Bucks, oh nice. <laughs> nice. Okay, horse ranch. Not quite a Sims pack. <laughs> Still fun. Yeah, I love the furniture from Horse Ranch. I think it looks so good. Oh, yikes. I need it to be kind of... Yikes, 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 yikes. People didn't like it when I used this color before. But what if I had a different rug? They're not gonna like this. If they didn't like the bar stools, they're really not gonna like this. <laughs> if you thought the bar stools were bad, well, get ready for even worse. <laughs> I'm kind of going for blue and orange. Just listen, hear me out, okay? We can make. We can make this work. <laughs> That's not, I can't make it work. <laughs> I don't think I can't do it, I can't. Even I can't do it, I'm sorry, I just can't. I didn't like it. <laughs> Good in theory, terrible in practice, I fear. Terrible, terrible, terrible in practice. Um, I just couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. <laughs> We could try and add in some orange in other ways, maybe. What about in curtains? Blue and orange, go gators. Ah! Oh! Well, now that you've said that, we definitely can't do it. <laughs> no, I don't have anything against the gators. They're fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> that's uh, the University of Florida, or the gators and their blue and orange. Okay, mm, maybe I look at Desert Luxe kit for this. Oh, it's a good thing it doesn't fit the whole wall. Cause that would just make too much sense, huh? <gasps> Sweetly Phoebe, thank you for the 10 gifted subs again. You didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was very generous of you. Thank you. I went to the University of Central Florida, UCF. Um, Go Knights, black and gold. Am I right, everybody? No, <laughs> I don't feel, I don't feel any sort of strong attachment to that school, so don't worry. <laughs> um, okay, wait, what if I got like, no, that's terrible, I think, unfortunately. Good idea in theory, but. What if I had them like, oh, we could get blinds. You guys, what if we got blinds like this? Oh, I had it in the wrong spot. Hold on. This is from my first pet stuff, which, you know, yikes, red flag, but. My first pet stuff is free. Oh, oh, on Xbox, Romantic Garden stuff is free. <laughs> they just announced that today. It's only on Xbox. I'm so sorry if you're not on Xbox. I'm not on Xbox either. Um, but apparently on Xbox, only Xbox, Romantic Garden stuff is free. Not PlayStation, just Xbox. I don't know. Maybe it'll come on PlayStation 2 soon. But as far as I'm aware, it's just... Xbox. You heard it was PlayStation 4 too though? Oh, I only saw, I saw on Instagram from a Sims community article like a couple hours ago that it was just Xbox. It's only 10% off on PlayStation 5. Ooh. I wonder if they'll do a different one for PlayStation. If so, I don't like that. 
but I wonder if they will do a different one for PlayStation on purpose. I don't know. Um, but it's, it's free on Xbox. And no, you can't link it to your EA account. They're separate purchases. So it's unfortunate, but um, that's the situation <laughs> at the moment. Um, yeah, they're completely separate. So if you have packs on PC, you can't get it on, on your console and, and vice versa. Um, I know no one wants to hear that, but, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll do different ones for each console. Maybe they'll give it away on, on PlayStation later. Maybe they have a plan and it just isn't ready yet. We shall see, but that's the situation right now. It's, um, Romantic Garden stuff is free on Xbox, and My First Pet stuff is free only on PC, not on console, um, but it is still free, so if you haven't gotten that one yet, go and get it, for sure. Um, picture TV? I don't think I want to use the frame TV. I think I want to have a regular TV like this. Um, but yeah, it'll, it might be, I don't know, I don't know what their plans are. I guess we'll, we'll end up seeing, but it, maybe it'll be a different pack, I don't know. Um, I wonder what, like, the- I would love to know the behind the scenes of how these decisions get made and, like, what they're thinking about and planning when this is happening. Like, I wonder if it has to do with, like, maybe, maybe it's, like, a console limitation. Like, maybe it's, like, there's more red tape to get through on PlayStation and it's not ready yet. I, I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I'm not trying to justify it, but I'm just, like, wondering. I would love to know the- the background of it. I'm curious about that. Um, Romantic Garden is a cool one. The Romantic Garden is the one that has the wishing well. And I like the wishing well. So. Firefox is probably a Game Pass thing. I don't know if it is. I don't remember. I don't have an Xbox. I also, if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't know anything about Game Pass really. <laughs> So, um, I, it very well could be, and I just don't know, but I don't, I don't think so. I'm not, I don't know. We're selling stuff pack from each platform. I would be surprised if, if it varies that much platform to platform. Um, it might, I wish they would release data like that. I know why they wouldn't release data like that, but God, but I would, I would love to have data like that. Yeah, Game Pass works on PC, but this is not on PC. The, the free Romantic Garden stuff on Xbox is not on PC, so. Anyway, I would really like to have data about what their worst selling packs are. <laughs> that fascinates me. I would really, really like to know. And I get it. I know why they won't tell us, but God, would I love to know. Oh, Could they just tell me? Like, I won't tell anybody. <laughs> Can you just tell me about it? <sighs> oh, okay, a couple Windenburg paintings. Yeah, the PC Game Pass is a little bit different from the Xbox Game Pass. Um, all right. Um, okay, cool. Um, let me think about... Maybe in this, oh no, I think I'll leave it open. I was gonna make a separate entryway and like close it off, but I think I'd rather leave it open. I will get some columns though. Okay. Love the starter music. Yeah, I think the starter music is really fun for this. <laughs> I think it's really cool for this. Um, especially cause we're building a horse build, you know? Hmm. I like horse ranch. It's got some nice stuff in it, doesn't it? Like, I just consistently am like, this is fun. I like you. Maybe I'll get them some horse trophies. We can try and do a couple varied ones. On the wall there. Okay. Um... They have some big horse trophies too. We could put one in the library. So. Okay, no. Mm. 
I'm not really obsessed with my things that I'm seeing. I know we're gonna want a desk in here, in the library. Oh, there could be like a little bench. That might be nice. By the front door, we can make it kind of blue. That could be good. And maybe I could put like, one of these little cabinets. Why does that come in different colors than all of the other things do? Okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm never gonna understand this game. I'm just never gonna understand it. I don't know why they do this. It's The Sims, I guess. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. <sighs> Maybe I'll put some shoes next to the door too. That will also be good. Okay. Um, shoes? Oh. Oh, can I fit shoes underneath this? No. Maybe I could scoot this over and have shoes like in the, no. I want boots. Maybe I can put it over here. We could do that and then get our own coat rack. That might be okay. Okay, I can work on that. Or I can work with that, I mean. Maybe on the seat part raised up. Oh, I guess that would have been kind of cute too. Eh, it's okay if it's next to it. I think next to the bench kind of makes sense in real life. No, bad. Cottage living, no, cats and dogs, wait. I like this rug for stuff like this at times. That kind of, there's a lot of different textures and colors happening in here, but. Do we get a shoe ben bench in this pack, uh, in Horse Ranch? There's not a shoe bench in Horse Ranch, but there is a coat rack in Horse Ranch. It has like a cowboy hat and stuff hanging off the top of it. it doesn't fit here though, cause it's two tiles wide. This is a little bit smaller. Okay. Well, that kind of we can pretend is a little bit like a mud room somehow. I'm excited about this room because I wanted it to be like kind of a, a fancy library sort of vibe. Um, what happened to the baking stream on Sunday? Oh God. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. Originally, I wasn't gonna do one. And then I thought, no, I'll do it. And then I started feeling really horrible and sick yesterday. So I thought, I can't do it. So we've gone through some ups and downs. Originally it was never the plan and now it's back to not being the plan, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, okay. It's not just base game and horse ranch. No, we have a lot. We're using quite a few packs. It's, it's four builds cause it's three farms or three houses I mean in one barn so there's a lot of other packs specifically a lot of like cottage living and stuff um that I was planning on using but yeah I don't know it's not an ideal situation I'm aware I just I don't know what's gonna happen yet okay no you know what maybe I will do is just use the book nook kit stuff please repent your sins and turn back to Jesus okay Nice to meet you too. <laughs> There's so many people that come into chat and spam stuff like that. It's kind of wild. Okay. Um, should it be like a full wall of books? I think maybe. Well, that's random. You should see, I. there's worse. You should see what the kind of stuff people put in chat is like. It's wild. <laughs> People really just come out with the wildest things on the internet. <laughs> oh, okay, ooh, 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 cats and dogs. Cats and dogs is good for this. Cause they have like the... Um... <laughs> Guys, this just reminded me. So 
on Heyday. Please don't judge me. I play a lot of Heyday, okay? It's a little mobile farm game. And on Heyday, uh, it's, it's really just like me, my brother, and Dan that play together um, for the most part. But I got a friend request from a stranger, right? And they had helped me on my farm. So I accepted it and they were my friend for like a week, okay? Yesterday, I went to their farm and I clicked on their, like their little neighborhood thing. And it was like a whole bunch of stuff about Jesus. And it was like, we're a Jesus only, like Christian only neighborhood. Like, <laughs> and everybody's names in, in, the, in the neighborhood, they had like cross emojis and like, so-and-so loves Jesus was like their username in heyday. And I was really like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of taken aback. I didn't know that there was communities like that on Heyday. Because I just have me, Brett, and Dan. And me, Brett, and Dan's neighborhood says, we don't need any friends. Don't join us. <laughs> That's our description. So. <laughs> really, Hannah? I didn't know that. Anyway, that's that was fascinating to me. That, that I encountered that, I just didn't know. And then um, I said, wow, this is my, my new friend on Heyday, I guess. But I did unfriend them because I realized I don't want to have friends that aren't just Brett and Dan. So, sorry. <sighs> but anyway, it's interesting. I don't really uh, engage with other communities on Heyday. So, <laughs> I didn't know that was out there. Um, the desk clashes a little bit. Oh, I just hadn't changed the color of it yet. Um, what level are you in heyday? Oh, I leveled up today. Hold on. Let's find out. I'm now high level in Brett and he's been playing for a long time. I'm level 46. I just got this machine so I can make soup, but it's, I'm still building it because I only bought it today, so. Anyway, <laughs> that's me and my game. <laughs> Westways, nobody is hating on, the, on other people's views, okay, friend? <laughs> that's not what anybody's doing. <laughs> I was just surprised to encounter that. I didn't know that people did that in heyday, so. <laughs> nobody's hating on anybody. You believe whatever you want. Um, that is the, that's okay. <laughs> okay, um. I think I want to get one of these. What is Heyday? Oh, it's a um, it's a farm game. It's a farm mobile game. Okay. You guys joke. You say Heyday sponsor when, but Heyday did sponsor me, and that was just in the beginning of my Heyday era. Now I'm deep in my Heyday era, and I wish that they sponsored me now so I could show you guys my better farm. I have to stop talking, it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh. Um, I wanna get... You like farm games? I'm shocked. Me? No. I would never play a farm game. Who even does that? Horse ranch. I have to stop talking about it though, because I keep embarrassing myself talking about Heyday this much, so. We talked about it yesterday too. Like, I need to relax. The people don't need to listen this much to you talk about Heyday. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give them some horse trophies again. A few little variants of them as well. My mom used to be obsessed with Heyday, so it was scary when they sponsored you. <laughs> oh, me and your mom are the same. My brother, when I told him that Heyday was sponsoring me, he was so excited. <laughs> he was so happy about that. I think it about made his life hearing that Heyday was sponsoring me. <sighs> oh, I like that color. There you go. Scoot this back. Um, what are you building? Oh, it's a horse apartment. It's actually a neighborhood of three houses for people that live in like a horse farm together. Um, but I call it a horse apartment because it's more fun that way. 
<laughs> but it's a it's like a horse neighborhood for for some people that all live out here and raise horses together on a I don't know. I'm building a neighborhood. So Heyday is always lurking. What you think Heyday is watching this right now? I think Heyday is really good at advertising on social media. Their TikToks are like, I think really good. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, Lily, you gotta ask them, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think Gluon was the one who was gonna organize some ideas. <laughs> so you gotta ask him. <laughs> It's a good idea. We should we should probably plan it kind of soon. It's hard with like everyone has been so busy with the holidays and stuff. Post the charity events. Sometimes it takes a while to organize a group before to do stuff again. Um, but uh, that would be fun. I'll talk to Gluon about it again. Um, should I use that color? Is do you think it's too much? They're gonna yell at me for saying it's blue again, but. Yeah, Subway Surfers team is pretty good on TikTok too. Subway Surfers is doing really well on TikTok because people like, they'll they'll do like story times or they'll like read Reddit posts and then play the Subway Surfers in the background. I bet Subway Surfers was so excited about that. <laughs> Imagine you're Subway Surfers and then all of TikTok is like obsessed with you. You're probably thriving. <laughs> Me and my siblings used to be obsessed with Subway Surfers. I haven't played it in a few years, but me and Brett used to play that game so much too. Brett is my brother. Sorry, in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> um, you don't like them because they fill your feed? Yeah, I don't love, um, I don't really love the sort of, that brand of content where it's like a, when they're just like reading someone else's content. Like, you know, sometimes there'll be like a TikTok where it's a person and they put their face just in front of a screenshot of a tweet. And then the, there's like music or whatever, but it's like not their tweet, it's somebody else's tweet and they're just making a TikTok out of it. Or like those those like bots that read Reddit posts. Mm, I don't really like it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think, let me see about grabbing this again. Rather read your own Reddit posts. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I guess I do read Reddit posts from time to time. So, um, but I don't know. I just don't, I don't really like this, that style of content where it's like, I'm gonna like repost someone else's thing. Like that just doesn't really, I don't know. I don't like it that much. You love the Reddit story times, I'm guilty. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I just read those subreddits on my own. So I guess that's part of it. Um, Reddit can be a scary place at times, but not if you carefully curate it to not have any of the bad things, which is what I do. So. Um, okay. Shall we do the bathrooms maybe? I think so. You're guilty of reading so many Reddit posts on Insta. <laughs> That's so funny. No, it's not a horse ranch only build. We are just, we are using a lot of horse ranch though. A lot of horse ranch. I have my first pet stuff, a lot of cats and dogs. So, let's stick to the niche subreddits. Yeah. I like stuff like that. Guy in your class keeps sending Reddit posts to your class group chat and they're always weird. Ooh. There's a lot of parts of Reddit that are really scary. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't engage with Sims Reddit in any way, shape, or form because I, I have been scarred one too many times by encountering hate comments about myself in the wild. Like if I see a TikTok of a Simmer and they mention my name, I say, <laughs> scroll. <laughs> Because I've seen some like really nasty things about myself that I'm like, I don't need to read that. So I, I cannot go on Sims subreddits, um, any of them. I like, if a post get recommended to me, I'll mute it. <laughs> Um, I just can't because I and most of it is not bad, but like it I can't encounter it's it's like I can encounter hate about myself in the places that I expect it Like when people say mean things to me here. It's like well, yeah You came to my house. You bullied me. It's funny. Whatever. Goodbye But if I like randomly stumble upon people talking about me, it always kind of freaks me out a little bit <laughs> and I don't like to read it <laughs> so um Anyway, I don't, I can't go on Sim subreddits. I like to be on like baking subreddits and stuff like that. Like that's kind of my, um, my space, you know? 
Anyway, most of it is not bad. Like, by not even close to being bad most of the time. It's just, like, you know, unfortunately, sometimes a couple bad things can kind of ruin stuff. So, um, anyway. Um, all right. I think I will get some of these again. Okay. Um, all the way up. Oh, that one's a little bit lower than this one. Wait, go. There we go. Some wide open windows for a bathroom. Yeah, it looks better from the outside though. So they're just gonna have to accept it. We kind of had this discussion the other day <laughs> when, we were, when we were first building it and we were like, you know what? It's gonna be fine. It's only like horse stuff out there, whatever. It will be fine. Is the other house green? Yeah, this one's kind of like mint chocolate chip vibes <laughs> on this one. Um, okay. Um, so this is the bathroom for the primary bedroom. Packer <laughs> music isn't it today? This is the, it's the uh, Stardew Valley soundtrack. We've always played the whole thing. What you're listening to right now is from Journey of the Prairie King. It's like a mini game in Stardew Valley. So. Um, the debug shut outside. Oh, I like this too. Wait, where'd it go? Yeah, I think this looks kind of cool, this debug shut out here. I put a woohoo bush. I don't know if it's gonna work in there, but I'm gonna test it later once we have a sim. Um, okay. Really, Bubble? I mean, the thing is, it, uh, that makes sense to me. You gotta find like your niche on YouTube of the kind of stuff that you like. Um, Cause obviously not everybody on YouTube is gonna appeal to you. People make so much different type of content. So you might like games, you might not like games. There's just so much out there. So going to the Stardew Valley Orchestra show? Yeah, my friend Hope managed to get us tickets. Um, so I am gonna be going. Forgive me if I don't say to which city for now. Um, Cause that's one of them, give your live location out in advance. Maybe you shouldn't do that sort of situation. <laughs> but I'll get closer to it, I'll probably tell you, so. Um, but anyway, uh, Hope did manage to get us tickets, so. They added dates. Yeah, they added a lot of dates as well. The only one in Florida is in Tampa, which is kind of annoying. Um, and uh, it's during, it's in May, right? So it's during my fundraiser for St. Jude. <laughs> um, so I can't go to that one, but that's okay. That is okay. Gonna have to travel, but that's okay. It'll be fun. Um, all right. Uh, Sith Lord, I, I looked for a couple of them to know which song it was, but a couple of them I just knew. Um, so this is like the loading game part. Some of the starting music, I can just tell you off the top of my head what part of the game it's from. Like Sam's Band. Oh, I know which ones are Sam's Band. <laughs> but some of them I, I, would, I would just look. I'm playing it on Spotify, so. Um. Your city is sold out. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's quite cool what they're talking about, chat, in case you haven't heard about this. Um, this might not appeal to you, <laughs> which I totally get, uh, but they're doing like the Stardew Valley soundtrack live in concert with an orchestra. <laughs> um, and a lot of people here are like pretty massive Stardew Valley fans. So a lot of the folks here are really excited about the thought um, of, of getting to, to see it, so. Um, that's what they're talking about. It's pretty cool. So like this music that you're listening to. Um, pretty fun. How many hours do you have in Stardew Valley? I can check. My Steam uh, hours in Stardew Valley are outdated because I played a bunch on a different Steam account long ago. So I probably, I would guess I have like 200 more than, yeah, okay, I have, I have 719.8 hours, but I think I probably have like closer to like 930 hours technically in Stardew Valley. <laughs> I 
Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so cool. You're gonna take a day off and make a day of it in the city when you go. That's gonna be so fun. I, I hope you have the best time getting to do that. That's really cool. How many hours do you have for The Sims? Oh, like 10,000. Sorry, did anybody say anything? I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, like close close to 10,000 or something in The Sims 4. The, my hours in The Sims 4 are wrong too, because in The Sims 4, um, it, it was counting all of my hours in the, you remember when they used to have the cast demo? For some reason, I had like 1800 hours in The Sims 4 cast demo, but obviously I, don't have 1800 hours in the cast demo. <laughs> it was like misapplying my Sims 4 hours into the cast demo for a bit. So it said I had like 6,500 in the Sims 4 and 1800 in the cast demo um, for a while, but then they got rid of the cast demo. Um, so. Anyway, that's gone now. But so I, yeah, so the numbers are like, the, the number of hours that I have in the Sims 4 on the EA app is like 1800 off because of that. Um, but I've played a lot of The Sims 4, so, hey Taz, thanks for the 38 months! Okay. It's okay, these people, you, this is my safe space. <laughs> We're all the same, right? We're all the same, right? Oh, and then you want to think about, like, how many hours it would be if you counted how many hours of, like, content of the Sims that you've watched? Like if you counted, no, that's just sick. No one needs to know that. <laughs> it would double up though a little bit because a lot of people watch Sims while they play Sims. So it would, it would double up. It would, you know, but when you count all that together, no one needs to know, no one needs to know about that. That's like not, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're doing that right now. Yeah, see, a lot of people play and watch at the same time. Hey Rez, thanks for the nine months and Melly and Katie. Tanya, Kyle's burden, Lily. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, okay. Um, let's do this room. I think in here I'll put laundry and make it a bathroom downstairs. Well, if we can fit it. I'm not sure if we'll be able to or not. We'll see. Um, oh, there's a poll for hours in The Sims 4. It's probably it probably could have been split up a little bit better mods, but <laughs> oh, kind of funny to see still though. You made Ambrosia to bring your sim back to life. Give it to the wrong sim. You gave it to the wrong sim. Okay, listen, I'm gonna save your life right now. You already made Ambrosia, so don't feel bad cheating for it. Okay, go on the gallery, search Ambrosia. People upload Ambrosia to the gallery. You can just download this and like put it on your lot and then feed it to your sim. It doesn't count as cheating because you, you made a mistake and gave it to the wrong sim by accident. So, uh-oh. The game's gonna crash. Oh, okay. But it doesn't count as cheating. If you just cheat for money to get it, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Do whatever you need to do. But you can get it on the gallery, the Ambrosia. So it's kind of easy to get your hands on. Um, this is grandpa's theme. We are listening to this now, apparently. Hey, sweet Leafy, thank you for the gifted subs again. You really didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Um, okay. I will get a little toilet. Does Ambrosia from Debug not work? Um, it, I mean, it probably does. I don't know if you can get the Ambrosia from Debug that easily though. You can get the pet treats, but gallery's a little bit easier because sometimes when you try and get food out of Debug, it doesn't really work. Right, so. Um, horse ranch. I don't like furnishing bathrooms. I find them kind of boring. That's an honest question. I saw some people pick zero on the poll. I, serious, honest question. Do any of you actually not play The Sims and, and still enjoy watching content of The Sims, but not play it? Cause I'm sort of that way with a couple games. I mean, I, I do play City Skylines, but I don't play it that much. Cause I don't think I'm that good at it. 
Um, do any of you, like, consume a lot of Sims content but not play at all? It's interesting. Don't play Sims like watching your stuff? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because there, there's, I, I think that it's similar to how I feel about City Skylines, where it's like, I really like watching people play that game because they possess a talent and, and like, I for building in that game that I don't really have. So I can see why people would like watching The Sims and like enjoy consuming like the creative content of it and, and feel like they can't, you know, do it as well. And also like packs are expensive, so hard to get your hands on. Um, do it with horror games, like watching but too scared to play. Oh, I won't even watch or play a horror game. I'm too scared to do any of that. I'm a real baby about stuff like that. <laughs> Um, with Life of Str Life is Strange, yeah, that makes sense to, to watch and not play it. Yeah, totally. Um, yeehaw. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> it's because I picked the, <laughs> the cow prints to watch that, but that was a weird thing to say. <laughs> I hope, by the way. <laughs> yeehaw. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Have I played Life is Strange? Yeah, I played, um, I played the first one and I played the newest one, the Life is Strange True Colors. I played that one too. Um, yeah, I don't think laundry is gonna fit in here, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I played, I played the first one and I played True Colors. I played True Colors on stream. I played the first one years ago before I even streamed on Twitch. So I didn't stream that. Yeah, the devs of the original have a new game coming out next year. We've talked about going back and streaming it, um, but I don't know if I will. I would definitely like to play the new one. I think we could try and do that together if you want. Oh, the Ambrosia's right there. That must be why it lagged so much. That's so strange. Okay. <laughs> Raven, thanks for the for the resub. What the heck? What about House Flipper 2? Oh, I love House Flipper. <laughs> I need to play House Flipper 2. We need to find some time this week to play it. It came out today. And I haven't played it yet. I loved the original House Flipper, like so much. I wanna play City Skylines again. They there was an update to City Skylines um this week. I know because I watched City Planner plays uh, part of his live stream on it. I watched it back after he was live. I didn't have time during the day, but I watched it back later because he showed off some of the new maps. And the new maps that they added, they added two into City Skylines. Um, and they're both really like beginner friendly, very flat terrain. So if you are like me and not that good at City Skylines, um, then I think that the new maps might be good for you. And I think I should start a new city on them. So that's my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, the I, I get kind of motion sick with House Flipper too. I last time we streamed it, I was kinda of like, ooh. I like it, but it's hard. It's the it's the motion sickness. Turn off the blur setting. Ooh, that's a good idea. I should try it next time we play. See if it helps. Um You watch but can't play because you can't afford another computer. Yeah, City Skylines is a a hard one to run, for sure. It is rough. Okay. Cute. Um, no, this, I want this. Did I play Unpacking? I did, I, I actually streamed Unpacking. Unpacking, I class as being one of my favorite games literally ever. I really enjoyed it. Um, So I, I have a lot of good things to say about unpacking if you haven't played it yourself. Okay. You guys are making me want to play City Skylines tonight. Me and Dan are going to watch Taylor Swift's tour movie tonight. We never went to see it in theaters. We didn't have time, um, but we're going to watch the movie tonight. Big, exciting Friday night plans. Fun stuff, huh? <laughs> 
I think we're gonna make pizza and then watch. It's really important. I have to introduce the kittens to Taylor Swift. This is a really important part of their education. Um, I need my children to uh, <laughs> learn about Taylor Swift. <laughs> so <laughs> that'll be fun, Christine. I Okay, so here's my thing about wrapping presents. I have a bunch of presents from like my family's gifts are all here. I just haven't wrapped them yet. I don't, I have them all just on my dining table if I'm being honest. So mom, dad, if you're planning on coming over, don't. <laughs> Your gifts are out. But I don't wanna wrap them and put them under the tree because my kittens tear paper. So if I put wrapped presents under the tree right now, the kittens will unwrap them. And if I put them wrapped on the table, they'll unwrap them. And I don't really know where to put them otherwise. I guess I could like shove them in a closet or something, but I don't know. So, um, I have to hide them, close off a room <laughs> so the kittens can't get into it. I haven't wrapped them yet because of them. So, uh, yeah, he's doing better. Uh, Sunny is not mean to him anymore. She remembers him again. He knows she, she recognizes him again. He doesn't smell stinky anymore. So. My, my cat, um, she forgot who her brother was after he got neutered because he smelled different. So <laughs> we've been going through a lot, um, my household, <laughs> but uh, Sunny recognizes her brother again. So big day, um, big exciting stuff. They're fine again. They were like sleeping together last night and stuff. I was, it's, it's been a very sad time. <laughs> It was really stressing me out. I knew it was gonna be temporary. I think part of why I was so stressed out was mostly just because Sunny was having like all of her um, her stress problems because of her own spay surgery. And then she like finally stopped stress, stre stress scratching. And then her brother comes home from his surgery and she forgot about him. So she was like nervous and scared of him and being kind of mean. Um, and I was like, this is just horrible timing. Like she was finally like better and now she's scared of him. <laughs> But she was, she was okay. She didn't start stress scratching again or anything. Um, so. Yeah, I know this is the thing. So P Hope's poor cat, my friend Hope Goose Kingdom in the chat, her cat broke her leg. Um, and then the other cat did the same thing, but worse and for longer. And then the other poor cat had a broken leg. <laughs> So you have a broken leg and your sister forgot about you and is being mean like that's just horrible I'm so glad that Sunny wasn't like that for too long I, I felt so bad for shrimp because like he went through here. He has like the worst day of his life because he has surgery <laughs> Now he feels all weird. He doesn't get it and his sister's being mean Like he came home all stressed and now she's being mean to me for no reason like Thought you meant the cat broke hope's leg. Oh, that would be bad. No. Thankfully, the cat did not break Hope's leg. And the cat, Hope's cat who broke its leg, the cat is a girl, her leg <laughs> is healed. So. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I've, I've just been kind of sad about it this week. Sunny has been taking her, her new meds very easily though. I put them in a pill pocket and she just eats it, no problems. I'm like really impressed by that. Cause I, I sort of expected it. To, I know I talked about this yesterday, so I'm sorry for repeating myself, but I expected it to be a lot harder for her to like get the meds. And I was like kind of worried about it, but she just like eats them. Good job. That's the spirit as you should. Okay. Nice. Remember to save. Oh, that's a good idea actually. That is a good idea. Sunny hasn't come in here to see us since we've been live. That's kind of mean of her. Maybe she'll come see us again soon. I'll be waiting. Um, your dog loved pill pockets? Oh, that's good. Makes things easy. <laughs> yeah, she likes them. It's helpful. They will come at dinner time, you know they will. Yeah, give them like 40 minutes, the kittens will be in here. <laughs> at least one cat will be in here in about 40 minutes. I usually feed them at 7.30 and I get off stream at seven in like 40 minutes from now. So the kittens usually start coming in here around seven being like, hello. <laughs> Snap does the same thing. She's like, 
It's time. Why are you still live? <laughs> I'll be waiting. I'll be downstairs. See you in a bit. <laughs> Where's my dinner? Okay. Um, I think... Let me take this. Oh, I actually don't like how this looks anymore with the three high. You know what I also wanted to do was put tile behind here. That'll be good. Um, I don't know which one. Could be something kind of simple like that. I don't know. Okay. As soon as you wake up, your cats bother you for food. Yeah, my cats don't really bother me for food that much in the morning. They're not very like food motivated. They'll, they'll come and like see me when it's dinner time and be like, okay, hurry up. But, but they're not one, you know how some people's cats like scream for food and like, they can be kind of demanding. <laughs> I say with love, my cats aren't really like that. None of them are. Snap is more than the kittens and Snap really isn't food motivated at all, but she can be at times. She'll scream a little bit. Nice. So that's the door to the bedroom. That's the hallway. We have three bedrooms upstairs. And then all of the outside. Yikes. Cat only cries once you're getting her food. Oh, like, yeah, Snap will do that too. Once, once she's like gotten you to follow her to her food bowl, then she'll be like, come on. And then once you start opening the can and like getting it, like, you know, you pick the bowl up, you get a new bowl, whatever. Like she starts getting like, come on. <laughs> And then she might scream more. Um, she'll, she's like, hurry up, make it go faster. Okay, uh, let's do, how am I gonna decorate these? Should I make it a kid's bedroom? I think so. Hmm, maybe like, This one can be kind of pink, perhaps. Nice. <laughs> KJ, Lindsay, Lex, thanks for those subs. Okay, how about some curtains? I don't know. I might base whatever I end up doing on a rug. It might be fun to pick the rug first and then go from there. Because we do have some kind of fun rugs from this pack. This one might be better if we didn't have it pink. It could be like a bluish color instead. Or even like, maybe, I guess this sort of light blue matches the little cactus. I think that's actually really cute. <laughs> oh, thanks dragon, thanks for coming, bye. <gasps> bye Hope, have a good night. I'm jealous of you. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna get to the to the barns that Hope is speaking of. She, Hope is excited about me decorating the barns, but I don't think that we're gonna get to any barns tonight. <laughs> Ooh, the blue with the purple and that rug. What do you guys think about that? It's sizing up a little bit too big. Well, hold on. What if we swap it into this room then so I can have the rug take up more space? I mean, I think those curtains look kind of bad. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest with you, <laughs> I don't think that this would be my choice of curtain for this room, but can I use this one instead? Ooh. Oh, let's try it anyway. Should it be a baby's room or a kid's room? I don't know. I'm not sure. Infant toddler? Yeah, it could be a toddler's 
room. I think. Uh oh. Sorry. Yawning. Everybody, my apologies. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that either. Maybe I can make this work. I think the crib would look better probably if we made it for a little one instead. Might be better. Yeah, like I was describing to you all earlier, I did wake up at like 4.30 or something with two cats on me, <laughs> which I loved, don't get me wrong, but there was a period of not sleeping <laughs> involved with that. <laughs> Um, that's the one downside. <laughs> Slight issue with all the kittens is that um, when there's multiple cats on you in the night, well, good luck sleeping. Just snaps it on Dan's chest. Yeah, she'll do it to both of us. Um, to, she does it to me more often, um, but obviously she's, I've had her since I was nine, so it makes sense, but she does it to everybody. I, I, when I say everybody, I really mean that. I fully believe that she would do it to like a guest if we had a friend over or something. <laughs> like, I think she'd probably do it to them if she had access to their bedroom. Um, you've got six cats and they all sleep on top of you at night. That's so cute. That makes me so happy. Yesterday, can I tell you guys something that Dan said to me yesterday? You're not gonna believe this. I'm sitting on the couch. I feel sick, right? I had to cancel stream, I'm, I'm not well. Yesterday, he says to me, I wish we had cats. I said, what? <laughs> you wish we had, what? We, we have a lot of cats. And he said, no, 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 no. We have cats, but these don't count because we know them. I wish we had more cats. Three cats, three cats we have. You would expect me to be the unreasonable one, right? No, it's Dan. Oh, I gave this baby their own bathroom. <laughs> well, that's not very smart, is it? That's okay. Um, anyway, that's, but the way he worded it is he said, I wish we had cats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three is a lot of cats, I think, personally. I don't know if, um, I don't know if more cats are really <laughs> in the cards for me. <laughs> oh wait, let me get, um, I wanted to put a couple of these little things on here. Surfaces. Okay, I wanna get from, this. Okay. Now I can get these to be the exact right height. Just as I wanted. You got your stickers yesterday. Oh, I'm so glad. Yay. It sounds like the, um, so I sent out the letters. Uh, we had, well, we had a fundraiser for Able Gamers a couple weeks ago when I sent the letters out over the weekend. Um, and they're coming, they're arriving. So if, if you did redeem that, um, you should be getting it soon. It should come relatively quickly. Um, so, good sign. A bunch of people got theirs today. They've been telling me. I know one of my mods got theirs. Also, I meant to tell you this, uh, specifically Brew and Christine, two of my mods. I think that you're gonna be getting the letter twice from me because I sent yours and then you filled out the form to claim it. Cause I like have my mods fill it out the form to claim one without donating. But because you donated and filled the form out, I think I sent, you it twice, but I just, I was like, I think I already wrote yours and mailed it, but just in case I didn't, I'm gonna do it again. So you might get it twice, <laughs> specifically you two, cause you're the ones that I think I did both, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> you want so badly to have a cat that sleeps with you, but I'd constantly be thinking of what they stepped into in the litter box. How do you guys not worry about that? I mean, I guess like some people do worry about that. I I know that we clean the litter box regularly and also I've had cats my whole life and the cats are pretty clean themselves. Like they, you know, they bury their poop and stuff, which sounds kind of gross, but like, eh, it is what it is. It's kind of stinky, but if you clean it, 
Um, then it's all right. It doesn't really bother me that much. They do a little bit of litter tracking, um, but depending on the litter that you have, the brand of litter that you have, you might not have as much of an issue with that. Um, so. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm not... <laughs> the answer to your question, unfortunately, is that I'm not that concerned about it. <laughs> be more worried about turning while sleeping and hurting your cat. Yeah, okay, so that, I think about that all the time with Sunny because she is so small. Sunny only weighs 5.3 pounds. And I mean, Snap weighs like 8.3 pounds. So she's not like realistically that much bigger. Like they're both small, but Snap is more likely to move when I turn, when I'm laying in the bed with her. But Sunny, she like cuddles closer. So I keep thinking that I'm like, what if I roll on top of you? But it hasn't happened and I don't think it will. <laughs> but she's so little and she keeps appearing in the night and I don't realize she's there. Cause she's like so small, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Anyway, they, they're they light sleepers, so I think it'll be fine. I don't think I'm that worried about it. Um, okay. She's small and a void. Well, that's the other thing, right? She's like a little tiny shadow. How are you supposed to know where she is? In the dark, she's all black. Like, <laughs> how are you supposed to know? You can't see her. Anyway. Um, I don't know if I like this giant one or not. Mm. Okay. Have they scared you at night? Um, mostly just by waking me up playing. Not really like scared me, scared me, but like I took the throw pillow off the bed and put it on the floor. And now Shrimp has decided he really likes to play with the throw pillow which is fine, I don't really care. But the problem is he'll like play with it kind of loudly in the night and he's very vocal. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> it doesn't really scare me. It's, I just wake up and I'm like, oh, there goes shrimp again. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of the, the situation with shrimp, I guess. Um, okay. Um, let me see. Maybe I could have this little guy. He was talking to himself while playing. Yeah, basically. <laughs> that essentially is what he's doing, yeah. Um, okay. I think... Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Um... I think maybe if we got, maybe I will put the dollhouse back because it was cool. Yeah, cats are funny animals. I'm really sorry. I know I talk about cats like so much on stream. It just, it's just that <laughs> the cats, they have taken over my life. It's all I think about. It's all I thought about before as well when I had Snap, but then I got more cats and now it's even worse. <laughs> Like it was bad enough when I had one and now I have three. <laughs> and two of them are kittens. So they change so much so fast cause they're just babies. So, okay. I think that's a good room for this area. Let's do this room maybe as a kid's room. Where's the rug from? The rug is horse ranch. It's cute, right? Well, your cat is in your lap now while you play Sims. Oh really? <laughs> that's so cute. I love when cats do stuff like that. Um, okay, maybe I will make this. This is another color scheme that I've sort of gravitated to towards before, but I like I like the curtain. So um, maybe I use these, but that sort of color scheme I think fits together nicely with this. Is this the summer soundtrack? Yeah. <laughs> This is the summer music from Stardew Valley. Indeed it is. Okay. We have to at least finish this house today. If we can't finish the inside of this one, oh boy, then we're doomed, I fear. 
We need to at least, at the very least, get through this one. That looks kind of good right there, actually, right? Yeah, the summer song is, is a good vibe. Yeah, you can share cat pictures in the Discord. Um, one thing to note in my Discord server is that um, you have to be level three, like you level up by typing, and you have to be level three to send pictures. Um, so you might not be able to send pictures yet, but like just chat a little bit in the other channels and then you can send pictures. Um, we have that set up sort of as like a precaution um, so that people can't like join the server and immediately spam horrible things. Um, so there's like kind of a gate, so you have to talk a little bit first, which makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> um, we just have that precautionary thing there because most people that want to join to do bad stuff don't care to wait to like level up a little bit, whereas like anybody who actually wants to be part of the community, they don't really mind, you know? Um, yeah, people are gross and it's harder with pictures to auto mod it. With, um, with like words, you know, it's fine, but with pictures it can be a little bit harder, so. That is unfortunately why. <laughs> Happened in your friend's server before? Yeah, it, it unfortunately I think happens a lot, so. Just can't trust people on the internet, so you gotta take steps to prevent it. It's not that big of a deal, but just something to consider if you're wondering, like, wait, why isn't this working? Well, that's why. Okay. Are you active in your own Discord? Yeah, I think so. I don't always type in every channel, but I read through the Discord server a lot. I, I'm a, a real lurker in my own Discord server. Um, and I type a lot in my mods chat, not that you would know about that part, but <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Yes, I mean, it's not just me, Mia. You know, it's everybody on the internet, unfortunately. It's just kind of the way it goes. As long as you know what to expect and you're ready for it, it's no big deal. Horse apartments? Can't wait to see if that's literal or if I'm missing something. Okay, so it's not quite an apartment. It's, we're, we're building like a neighborhood. So each of these houses is their own unit. And we're kind of making them so that people can have, so like this one has like a vineyard, this one has a farm, this one's got a stable, and they're gonna have a shared barn. So all the horses will live back here. That's kind of what we're going for. It's a neighborhood, neighborhood, like horse. <laughs> but when you call it horse apartments, it's a funny word, so. Oh, hey, I just got two cards in the mail from Lil Sexy. Yeah, I think it's you, it's you and, and Brew, Christine, who would get the, who would get two, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well. <laughs> Extra stickers. <laughs> Um, okay. That is funny timing that you just checked the mail and it's there right after we were talking about it a second ago. All right, should we get, maybe we could have like, oh, you know what would be good actually is if we got one of, hmm. Oh, we were gonna do a swing set in the yard too. Almost forgot. Uh, I wanted to put, the little science table, I think. I don't know about that color scheme, but I also kind of like it. This wallpaper is from the cottage living pack. This one that we're using. Baby gets their own bathroom while the twins have to use the hall bath. Okay, yeah, I, I know. I thought that after I furnished it, I said, oh, this isn't very good. But also, hold on. When you think about it, it is easier for the parents to have the ensuite bathroom for the baby because if they need to bathe it, it's right there. So there's that. You see? You see? Baby's door seems to be glitched. Oh yeah, it happens a lot. And the baby will grow up. <laughs> The baby will grow up eventually. Okay, this one's gonna be, I think, a teen's room. Um, I don't know what that's going to entail, but... I haven't used this color yet. Wanna try it? 
They will definitely put plates on the shelf in the kids' room. Yeah, they will. <laughs> Simsy's gonna start a universal trend of nursery on space. I mean, I have that in my um, baby challenge build and it's pretty useful. <laughs> so I guess there's that. When I think of like a nursery having an ensuite bathroom, it reminds me of, um, this is like a really niche reference and I don't remember whose baby it was, but I remember Mr. Kate, like years ago, a YouTuber did a home makeover of like some YouTubers baby nursery. I have no idea who it was, but they had an ensuite bathroom in the baby's nursery. And I remember thinking, how wild is that? But also these are like big houses in LA. So they probably all have ensuite bathrooms in like every bedroom. But I remember looking back on that and being like, wow, that's so fancy. <laughs> so when I think about that, that's what I, that's my association with it. I have no idea whose house it was though. It's just convenient, isn't it? Um. Oh, yikes, mad flat. <laughs> it might have been. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> take I take it back. <laughs> it might have been. I didn't remember that. But now looking back on it, that does make sense. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that. Um, okay. <laughs> Yellow lamps, maybe? Okay. And then we'll get them some paintings on the wall. Um, no, why did I just click that? I want something kind of... I always like this picture. I don't know if it's gonna work in here. I really like this bed. I mean, that kind of matches actually. I would say, well, no, I don't like these lamps either. I don't know. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. I guess we could just use something like this. More plain. Don't like the black frame of the pictures. Yeah, I don't really love that either, but I don't know, it's hard to figure out what to use in a space like this. I guess we could do posters. I don't know if I want to have posters above the bed because it's like, not horse ranch, high school years is what I wanted to use. I don't know if I want to have posters because it's kind of, mm. that's like more busy than I want it to be. And the pastel pop pictures are too small. That might work for one of the walls. It doesn't really work above the bed though. Unfortunately. Um, okay, let me just delete all of those. And I shall get some of these little things in here again. Okay. We're working on the big house still. This is like the biggest one. It has, it's the house in the front, kind of, this one. We've been furnishing it most of the stream today. Uh, the beginning of the stream was mostly us working on landscaping and now we've been furnishing the inside of this one for the most part. Um, okay. Maybe some sort of... Yikes, don't like that. Well, we don't have to have it have much above the bed, to be honest. We need to like, maybe, you know what we could do? This is a sort of a way to make this room less of a square or it's a rectangle, but Maybe we could try and bring this in and we can make a closet and have like an actual closet door. What song is this one? Oh, it's the saloon, Mooney. This song is from the Stardrop Saloon. 
not this one. <laughs> this is the festival, it's the luau. This one. Okay. Um. Okay. Let me get a little hamper. A fake one, probably. And then some shoes. Yeah, I'm playing uh, only starter music today. I thought it would be kind of fun because we're doing like a little farm build. <laughs> so I thought it'd be kind of fun to have a Stardew Valley theme <laughs> and, and play the starter music today. <laughs> yeah, Concerned Ape created all the music for this game by himself as well. He made the game, he made the music, he literally did all of it <laughs> by himself. Isn't that so cool? I find that really impressive. Um, yeah, music, the game, everything, all alone. Um, if you didn't know that about Stardew Valley, it's fun. He like everything in it. He's by himself. All the art, all of it. Is there balcony access? No, it's fake. We're kind of pretending because I feel like in real life this would probably be like a sliding door. So we're pretending that there's a sliding door there, but actually in reality, there is no sliding door there and it's fake. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it too much, so. <laughs> Do the blinds need to be slightly higher? Oh, I forgot I had raised them up on the other one downstairs. Yeah. Oops, now it's Moonlight Jellies. This song. Okay. The Sims is for pretending. Yeah, The Sims is made to pretend. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I give us a couple little... I like these little poofs. I think that's kind of cool. For in here. And then maybe they have a dresser. Like a tall one. That's not dressers. Thanks, YouTube. I really like how the Christmas tree looks on the camera. <laughs> I'm glad that you like it too, because I think it looks really cool on the camera, the Christmas tree. Um, okay. This one actually has a good color, I would say. No, we're just building it for fun. Someone asked for building it to play in it, but no, we're just building it to build. I, I build most of the time, because I build a lot more than I ever could play in any of these houses. Like, I make way more builds than I would ever actually need to, to use. Um, so this is one of those times where we're building just to build right now. We don't really have a sim in mind or anything. It's just kind of fun. We have a invention of a story in our head, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Um, okay, I think that's kind of cool. 10 days to Christmas? Oh my goodness, that's coming fast. <laughs> I find that a little intimidating. <laughs> we have some work we need to do. <laughs> um. We should probably do a Christmas build at some point. I haven't done, I did one Christmas build on YouTube, but we haven't done anything on stream yet this year. We should probably come up with something so we can do at least one. Do you think having that is really random? Maybe. Not done shopping yet, oh no. I know, right? There's, there's always more to do. 10 days is scary. Okay. So that could probably be the interior. Let's go work on the outside a little bit more of this particular unit. So they will have a swing set over here. Um, I will probably give them a trash can or two. Daddy Winter's condo. <laughs> that would be interesting. It's like his Daddy Winter's vacation home <laughs> for when he's done with, with all his gift giving. Nice. Okay. Um, oh, I need to put on this. 
Sorry, Daddy Winter? Yeah. <laughs> that is what I call him. Usually. Oops. I'm just gonna scoop this out a little bit more. Okay. Um, so for these sims, should they have... Like, uh... I don't know, should we have like a little patio? Here's the problem with these stones. I want to like them so bad. But the grass, I don't know if you can tell when you look up close, the grass is a different texture. It really bugs me, like so much. Um, maybe we could do it, does this come in like a sort of beige color? I kind of want them to have like an actual patio. But then the horses won't be able to get through, so maybe not. Should we do terrain paint now? Or is that a mistake? Okay, what I'm gonna do is layer some terrain paint, okay? So it's it's gonna be like this. And then we're gonna layer it a little bit. So that way we have hopefully what looks to be... Ugh, that's so... Okay, something like that. But I wanna layer it a little bit so that... Um, we have a couple colors and it looks kind of cool somehow. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna do this sort of thing like largely throughout most of the build. I don't wanna do all of the terrain paint right now. So you're gonna have to like take my word for it about it looking good, okay? I know what you're thinking. Um, I know that you're a little bit alarmed by by the plan here But you're gonna have to take my word for it a little bit because I swear it's gonna be good when it's done. It just It's gonna take some time until it's done and I don't really want to do all of it right now because I don't trust the game to not delete it so But this is kind of what I like to do is like layer the so the inside is lighter and the outside is darker But I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We shall see. I think someone is lighting fireworks right now. Strange, it's not too loud. Well, let me see. No, it's not that bad. I don't wanna scare any kittens. <laughs> I don't think the kittens have ever heard fireworks before. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't wanna scare them. Um, okay. I wonder why they're doing that. Okay. Um, fill all this in too. Oh, why am I even bothering with this right now? It's just gonna delete itself. We're gonna have to put like more of the dirt pathway over here. I'll probably mess with the terrain paint more next time we play. Let's just stop with that. And then we'll think about the backyard. I don't think I like this. Uh-oh. Uh I don't know what I wanted to do. Had the kittens on the 4th of July, right? No, we found the kittens on like the... Wait. No, I found the kittens in like the middle of July, right? Beginning of July? I don't remember. Oh, I'm confusing myself. The kittens would have been born, but I don't think I had them yet. Maybe I found them like right after the 4th of July. Now I'm confused. Thought it was mid-June. But the vet thought that they were five weeks old. Mm. Oh, I need to find this out. The thing is, I talked about it on YouTube a couple weeks after I actually found them. So let's find out the first day. I'm scrolling really fast and very far back on my phone. Okay, I'm getting there, close to the beginning. That's us at the vet. July 14th, yeah, so I was right, it was mid-July. 
We found them on July 14th. Do you want to see a really cute picture? I show you a picture. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? <laughs> There's a lot of fireworks, actually. There's like a show going on. I don't know what it is. Okay. That's tiny, tiny, tiny baby shrimp. Okay, what if we did it like this though? This is what I'm thinking. We could kind of make like a custom private little patio area, sort of in the middle, and then have the rest of it be quite open. Yeah, shrimp is not so tiny anymore. <laughs> fireworks was the occasion. I have no idea. I don't know. And no, I don't live close enough to Disney to hear their fireworks. And Disney doesn't do their fireworks um, this early in the day, so they won't walk in it. I think they'll walk on this. They're a little bit less bad about walking on these ones as they are about some of the others. Cause I use these square ones a fair amount. It's the last day of Hanukkah. Oh, maybe. Do you think that's why they're doing fireworks? I'm not, oh, my headphones just stopped working. They're giving you secondhand anxiety. Yeah, I don't I don't like not knowing what they're what they are. But that would make sense to me, I guess. I could see that, I guess. You said probably not. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't think that it's happening anymore. Is there a sports thing? I don't think so. That would be so so bizarre and to be inappropriate, but capitalism doesn't quit, so I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, right? You never know what people are doing. <laughs> you never know what people are doing. <laughs> Country discusses banning fireworks every year. Yeah, a lot of states in the US um, ban fireworks and stuff. I live in Florida, which is basically like the wild, wild west when it comes to most things. Um, I don't actually know about the rules in Florida specifically in regards to fireworks, but I think that for the most part, it's kind of just like a, there are no rules. <laughs> I think is the situation. <laughs> so. Um, okay. Then though, cause of fire danger in the summer? Yeah, that makes sense. I don't really feel comfortable with people doing fireworks shows. Um, especially like like individual people buying fireworks. Like, I don't know. It used to be illegal to sell them off, but you could buy them if you promised to take them out of Ohio. Eh? That doesn't make any sense. You can't set them off, but if you promise to take them out of Ohio, you can buy them in Ohio. Yeah, okay. Cut to people setting them off anyway, right? I'm sure. I don't get it. I don't understand the rules about this stuff. It doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Had to sign a little paper? Really? Yeah, I don't know anything about buying fireworks, obviously. I'm, I'm not well versed in this. <laughs> How would I know? Like, I'm not like buying fireworks. I think you could buy fireworks in Florida though. You can do anything in Florida. Um, okay. Oh, that makes sense, Lavender, yeah. Obviously, Disney has massive fireworks shows every single night as well. Um, okay. A couple little planter boxes for them over here. I think that's kind of cute, right? I'm scared about how much else we should get. We need to get some more horse stuff too. Cause I'm gonna need to get like some water for the horses. And then we'll probably want to get food for the horses. And then maybe I should put like, I'm gonna have to go back and probably add more of this like throughout the build, but we should probably get a couple little bits of prairie grass around. Okay. 
that the gates have a lock for unit residents? I think so. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, I don't really plan on locking these or trying to keep the Sims out of each other's units. I know that doesn't make any sense like when you say, say it out loud, but I kind of like the idea of this being kind of lively and like the people being around and out and about, even if that means they're in other people's units. So. Yeah, I that's the thing, Jupiter. When my grandpa was growing up, um, his cousin uh, was like seriously injured from fireworks. Uh, he, he lost his arm from it. Um, and he was just a little kid. He was, I don't know how old he was, maybe like six, seven, eight-ish, when they were quite, they were quite young. Um, it's really dangerous having fireworks and people just like, people buy them and light them in their front yards so casually when a anything could happen anytime, you know? Um, it's really scary to me that <laughs> people buy them and just have them so easily. I don't like it at all. And it scares people's pets. It scares people that might have like PTSD and stuff. It's just not, I don't like fireworks, so. They treat it too casually. It's very dangerous for people to just be treating so casually like that. Um, I don't like it at all. All right, well, we've got this first one done for the most part. I'd like to do a little bit more on the outside, but again, I'm really, really sort of wary of, oh my God, I deleted this terrain paint myself. <laughs> I'm really sort of wary of, um, of doing terrain paint at all, because it's gonna delete, like, probably when I load the game up next. So I'm kind of feeling like we should leave the exteriors till last, but next time we work on this, we're gonna have to do the two other houses and the barn. Um, it took us a long time to get to this point, but I think that, like, we, we had to spend a lot of time, like, planning and, and doing prep work, and now that we have everything, like, these won't take that long to furnish because we have the layouts already set up, you know? So I don't think it'll be too bad to furnish these because we have all of the prep done for everything. Um, so we will be able to, we'll get through. <laughs> well, I can't believe I deleted the train paint that time. <laughs> it was me. Uh, save it to your library and then replace it if the lock gets deleted. Well, so here's the thing, Rabbit Fairy. That only works sometimes because if it deletes, like if the terrain paint deletes midstream. So for example, right now, if I did terrain paint and then save it to my library and then uh, it deleted tomorrow, that'd be fine. I can just put it back and like download it off the library again. But if tomorrow I'm building it and then midstream, I reload to manage worlds and come back and the terrain paint's gone and I didn't save it to my library again in the middle of the stream because I wasn't expecting it to happen, then it doesn't matter. Because then if I get it off the gallery, then it's going to be half furnished anyway. So, um... Discord is down for you? Oh. 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 Yes, this is quite alarming. <laughs> Everybody, do you like my Discord server? <laughs> No, it's not just ours. It probably is just Discord being down, down. It happens. Um, Discord does this at times. It's not that big of a deal. It'll come back. That is annoying, though. Okay, well, <laughs> dang. Speaking of tomorrow, I'm not gonna... Well, we could build this tomorrow if you guys want to. We'll have to... We can decide right now. I was originally planning on playing Not So Berry tomorrow because I canceled my Not So Berry stream yesterday because I wasn't feeling so good. So we could play Not So Berry tomorrow or we could work on this. Otherwise we'll work on this um, in the next couple days, like probably on Monday or Tuesday. Um, not So Berry, I beg. Okay, the people want Not So Berry. The mods want Not So Berry. So <laughs> we can do that and then we'll, we'll finish this. So that's the thing, on Monday, we're supposed to play Among Us on Monday with our Sims friends. So we'll, we'll play Among Us on Monday and then I guess we'll finish this build on Tuesday. Um, so it's gonna, we'll have to take a couple days break, I guess, from building it, but uh, that's okay. We'll work on the build again on Tuesday. Um, the mods are tired of build streams. <laughs> oh no. I did change my profile picture. Yeah, honey, I, I changed it everywhere because what happened was YouTube deleted my profile picture. There's been like a bug on YouTube where it's like deleting, removing profile pictures. Um, and it happened to me and I was like, you know what? 
I have to re-upload it anyway. I may as well just change it. So I changed it everywhere. I haven't changed it in a couple years, so it was kind of nerve-wracking, but <laughs> I think it looks nice enough, so. Um, anyway, um, that is the plan. Uh, sorry about Discord being down, that's not so ideal. <laughs> uh, and Nox and Conjure and Arya and Katie and Terrence and Human and Golden, thank you for the subs. Um, and then I think I will catch you all tomorrow. I'm gonna go probably find someone to raid then. Um, that was good timing of us finishing this part of the build, huh? So we can go and see who all else is live. Maybe somebody who is playing The Sims. Um, let's see. Maybe my friend Sarah Kendall is live building with the new pack as well. And I like it. <laughs> so I kind of want to go over there and hang out there tonight for a little bit. So we can go over and say hi maybe together. Um, I just love for rent. There's so many fun things built with it. It's such a good time. Um, so everybody go say hi for me. I will catch you tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll play some Not So Berry tomorrow. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, and then I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, have a great rest of your evening, everybody. I'll catch you all later, okay? Goodbye. Oh, where's the button? There we go. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Stop streaming.